It is right here. Hi. <laughs> now we're ready. Thank you for joining us, friends. My name is Ruel Gaviola. Welcome to Tabletop Tonight. I'm really excited about tonight. We're going we're gonna to have a great show. Um, they, it's, I'm so pumped about our guests and the game that we're going to play. So thank you again for joining us. We're going to bring on uh, our guests in just a few minutes here. We're going to take care of some business first. Uh, friends, I want to thank Amanda Panda for being our chat moderator. Amanda's actually pulling um, double duty tonight. She's recording a podcast and she's uh, doing the um, chat moderation. So please keep things PG-13 in chat. And um, we're gonna be all right. Uh, I've got, okay, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so of course, uh, things are going totally smooth, totally professional here, but thank you for hanging out. Um, yes, we are gonna shout out, thank you, Flack, Slack, Slackfish. We are shouting out Team Dead Mike. Um, that was Dead Mike, yes. Um, are we, can y'all hear me now? This should be okay. Good to go, right? Yes. Games of Fire is in the house. Thank you, Games of Fire. Much appreciated. I've got, see, Marlon in the house. No sound. Still no sound. Okay. Still no sound. Okay. Um, thank you. Wow. So there is no sound. Okay. 
Okay, Jake says he can hear me. I think we're good. Um, I'm going to continue. Yeah, thank you, Buccaneers. Yeah, we're good. We're, we're totally good. Everything's fine, folks. <laughs> thank you, Jack Dempsey. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you, Brown Beard, Board Gaming, Agents Fire. Everyone's in the house tonight because we've got some special guests. We have the Becca Scott and the Jake Michaels joining us tonight for a game of Wingspan. Uh, let me take care of some business first, folks. As I mentioned, I need to get this here. Um, I want to uh, thank our sponsors um, tonight. As always, uh, we have uh, Van Ryder Games. Thank you, Van Ryder Games, for all of your support. Um, basically since day one, folks, they've been around, you know, hanging out, sponsoring us from the get-go, much appreciated Van Ryder Games. I also like to thank our amazing illustrator, Holly Chu. Uh, you can find her work at hollychuart.com. That's C-H-I-U art.com. Holly is amazing. Please drop those emotes in chat, folks. If you've got Holly's emotes, you've unlocked them here on the uh, channel. Feel free to drop those there. I love the one that she did a Bruno, our pug. It's amazing. Um, so please uh, check those out as well. Holly's website. We also have a new sponsor, The Op. I want to thank The Op, formerly known as USA Opley, for sponsoring our show tonight. Thank you, friends at The Op. Much appreciated. Uh, they are they do a lot of wonderful family games and puzzles and stuff. So please check out the op at theop.games. Yes, please check them out. One final shout out. So I have a friend, Richard. He is a local uh, businessman and he's been selling board games over here uh, in the Inland Empire for the last five years. He and his wife had just opened a shop called Board Game Paradise. They are a pop-up shop in Redlands, California in the Inland Empire. They should be opening tonight. Uh, that was tonight's supposed to be their grand opening. I, you know, you know how small businesses are. Things can, you know, sometimes go awry. So I don't know if they're officially open yet, but they will be open very soon. And they will be open through the holidays for all your gaming gifting needs. So please check them out as well. Um, let me get this ready. So tonight we are playing a Wingspan. It is now available on Steam. And I'm going to bring on my friends and guests here. Let me make sure we got, okay, all the tech stuff's good. Okay, I'm you know uh, you know folks I'm learning how to use these AirPods and I don't know what it is. I just they don't want to work for me. Um, I'm hoping that they're gonna work when Jake and Becca are here. And, and honestly, right now I'm gonna have to do a, a check because I don't hear the music I had going on uh for uh wingspan. But anyways, while I'm doing this, folks, what are y'all you know that we, we do this every uh episode? I want to know what y'all got going on for stream snacks, okay? So I had my dinner tonight already, so I'm not that hungry. I've got uh, my glass of water happening. I'm going to stay hydrated. But what are you having for your stream sex? Drop in the comments below, and we'll talk. Everyone in this stream, so folks, if you're new to the tabletop tonight, everyone here always brings their A game when it comes to stream snacks. So be prepared. We've got, um, let me see what we got. I know, oh, frozen red grapes for Amanda Panda. Coming off, straight off, right off, coming off strong. Brownie cookie dough ice cream. Are you kidding me? Y'all are bringing it already. I know the other day, Ben and uh, Steph had some uh, nice wine. Lucho AB, bubble tea, there it is. We call it boba here in SoCal. So uh, more games, please. Thank you for joining us, Ross, from all the way from across the pond. Fresh glass of water, the finest snacks. I agree, sir. And uh, hey, Jake says he's got freezing. Oh, he says freezing grapes, pro level move. Agreed. Uh, Free Inspired's got popcorn. Uh, I'm going to, you know what? I'm not even going to fool around with these um Airbuds, uh, AirPods anymore. I'm going to switch over. So give me just a second, folks. I am going to, you know what? Tell you what, I'm going to bring on our guests while we do this. Um, oh, you know, I, I got a, someone's got a Rubens IPA. Nice. Make it maple vegan. What the wow. Tony, y'all bringing your A games every time, every time. Okay. I'm going to switch out these things, folks. I'm sure you can still hear me because I've got a different mic. So I'm going to go back to the old reliable, hopefully reliable uh, headphones here. All right. So these are here. Hoping I can hear all y'all. Let's see. Okay. Wow. Brownie sea salt cookie dough. Okay. Yeah. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> uh, let me go over here. Do, 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 switch over. Thank you for your patience, friends. I'm going to go to these headphones. Okay. Speakers. Nope. Headset. All right. Let me test it. 
and the test is not working, of course. Um, give me, okay. Well, uh, since we're here, let me introduce our guest. I'm gonna we're gonna figure this out as we go, friends. Um, super excited. As I said, uh, oh, you know what? Before we get going, I want to thank our Patreon supporters. Uh, all of you, thank you for supporting and uh, give a special shout out to our all access and very important gamer patrons, Mike, Kevin, and Jeff. Really appreciate the support. Thank you. And let me go back over here. So tonight, I am honored and super excited to have. Becca and Jake join me. So Becca Scott is an actor, host, reporter for Magic the Gathering official tournaments, a podcaster, voiceover artist, and owner of the channel Good Time Society. She's known for speaking out on her views on board games, video games, pop culture, nerd culture, global injustice, and everything in between. So friends, I'm going to bring on Becca Scott. If I Hopefully I can, I can do this uh, correctly. And oh my gosh, I hope this works. I hope this works. I hope this works. Oh, and Jake's here too. Becca, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Oh, okay. I was muted. Hey, that was on me, but I tricked you and you fell for it. I have no idea what they're saying, folks. Hopefully, can y'all hear Becca and Jake? Because this is on. You no, know they can. You guys are amazing. Okay. Let me go back. Maybe I should try this. Jake. Oh, my God. Is this from Hitchcock's The Birds? Wow. I can hear you all. Jake, you're muted. And now I'm muted. All right. No, muted. Ruel, I hear you, but Jake was muted. Okay, so me and Jake came in muting ourselves just to mess with you. Can we just <laughs> rotate our mutes throughout the evening so at least it's even? Right? Yeah, yeah I like might that as plan. well. <laughs> I like that plan a lot. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I was dancing off screen. Yeah, me nice. too, during the promo. Thank you. Jams. Oh, you guys are, y'all are awesome. Thank you. <laughs> You know, I didn't even get to read Jake's intro. I was like, so leave? Proud intro. To I can go no. back. Yeah, you should leave, Jake. Yeah, get me out of here. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> I've just made He's more like, work on an already very technically difficult. I know. So far. Hey, I'm, how's he going to learn? This I is going swimmingly, right, by the way. Right? Thank you. Okay, so here <laughs> we go. I'm going to let's, let's read <laughs> Jake for just a second. This happens every there. day yeah. to me. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice, nice. Never a stream goes by without technical issues. Come on. <laughs> nice. Uh, and now I've got this this issue. It's so funny with the AirPods. Um, uh oh, can you hear me? I can. See, this is the thing. Like the now the it's like totally loud, and I can't control the volume. It's oh, no. crazy. I'll just whisper the whole time. Okay. <laughs> you know what, what changed my life and agents fire is to blame um to thank uh is a mixer a mixer where i've got little sliders and it's oh. totally changed my life it was like the clutch equipment piece nice yeah. i need to look yeah. into that so folks uh one of these days hopefully we're going to get a mixer here so i'm my ears aren't being blown out uh, by my guests here but you know i'm so so oh, fired sorry. up that I am yeah. very loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I yelled that. Okay. <laughs> Here, I can actually turn my mic down. There we go. Really? Oh, that hey, that, wow, that's great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Hey, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Becca, so um I'm so happy to have you here, my friend. And I'm fired up to play Wings. So we haven't played a game together. In it feels like years, right? We have talked about games more recently than that. Yeah, which is funny. Like, I mean, talking about games is fun and all, but I'd rather play them, of course. Same. So, yeah. And you recently got this styling new haircut, I see. It's just, it's so much lighter on the head. You, yeah. You know, you know? Yeah. One step closer to perfecting, getting the perfect hair, which is Ruel hair. <laughs> and you never have to worry about anything. Exactly. Oh. Just... Oh. Just a couple of, you know, just a couple of shaves one, uh, once a week or so, and you're good to go. That it's, sounds like a dream come true to me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like, I mean, I know we're here in SoCal. I mean, we're, it's, it's supposed to be October. I mean, it's freaking hot still. Yeah. Like, it I just mean, got hotter. I'm like, what? That was a big part of me cutting my hair because long hair, it's like you're wearing a sweater all the time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hair so, shirt. Yeah, hair shirt. Here, here's the funny uh, thing, though. I... Back in the day, um, I had hair like way down here. It was oh, like I love that image. down my back. Yeah, it's hilarious. One of these days, I'm gonna post pictures, but it's probably on my Facebook somewhere. But um, yeah. So, anyways, 
we are ready to play some wingspan. We are Always. fired up. Yeah. But let's bring on Jake. I, I really want to read this introduction, which okay. yeah. So I'm going to, this is something, yes, I totally wrote. So Jake Michaels is a handsome director and writer for Good Time Society, Geek and Sundry, and Nerdist, and is a noted burrito file. Though he's only demonstrated honesty to me, I, for some reason, do not trust him, especially in games of Twilight Imperium. Yes! <laughs> so this yeah. is our friend, Jake Michaels. Jake, thank you for joining us, my friend. How are you? Thank you for having me, Ruel. It's always a pleasure. That I'm so good. Wins. How does yeah. he always win? I do not always win. Twilight you Imperium do. specifically. I yeah. frequently, but do not always win. Just something about that game. Like, you know, about our friend, our mutual friend, John Gonzalez always says, you know, you have that silver tongue, man. And it's like, <laughs> no matter what, oh yeah, let's do this. That It's going to be totally fair. And sure enough, oh, and we lost again. Like what? Yeah, I just, we make deals. We all work together and then I clinch it. It's fine. <laughs> How are you holding up uh, these days, my friend? Real good. Been very busy with Becca Scott doing a lot of Good Time Society stuff. We've been having a yeah. blast. Yeah, talk okay. about yeah, talk about Good Time Society. This is this thing is like, I mean, I see it everywhere on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because you're our so friend and we posted it. We, we work all day. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so we decided to make a little um, production company ourselves, making board game and video game content. We've been doing uh, how to game videos as well as gameplay live, similar to this, and you've been a guest on our Saturday show as well. We're streaming on Twitch. We have a YouTube channel, and we have plenty of awesome social media and a Discord for people to come out and talk about it. And ponies. And ponies. ponies. Mm -hmm. We uh, we ponies. we bought a pony farm. So it's a combination production house slash pony farm. It's yeah, a actually, forty five it's acre hard property. To give them away. So that's what we do as prizes is giveaways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it turns out. We have a lot more ponies on this pony farm. Than yeah, they breed ponies. very quickly. It turns out a lot of people turn really? them down when you tell them they won and try and ship them a pony. Yeah, and international shipping rates on ponies is ridiculous right now, especially because of COVID. So it's yeah. it's been a real it's been a real red line on our budget. In fact, uh, the only thing that's keeping us afloat is games. <laughs> Got to ship those ponies though, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, I see a ton of comments here, folks. I'm going to be missing a bunch of these, but you know. Um, we have one from our friend here. Damn, I miss playing Twilight Imperium. Would there there is yeah there is uh, a TTR uh, or a TTS implementation of Twilight Imperium, which I'm afraid to look at because I know if I play, it, it's it would be like a 12 hour game, wouldn't it? Like I mean yeah. I mean, that's, well, no, actually, I've heard it can go faster. I mean, it depends on, every game of TI depends on who you play with, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but I do miss playing it. You know, I miss hanging out with y'all for like eight hours of a shot and uh, at a table. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. Sandwich place. Uh, yeah, right? That was, really good I was just going to bring that, gosh, that sandwich was amazing. Mm -hmm. And th these are what our games are all about, folks. It's about hanging out with good friends and talking sandwiches. So. And the sandwiches. <laughs> Oh, my wonderful roommate made a pesto and sun-dried tomato flatbread, so she, she delivered it to me because I said I'm doing a show. Yeah, oh, my gosh. That sounds what. And again, folks, uh, if you haven't already, please talk about your stream stacks in stream. I mean, that <laughs> sounds amazing, Becca. Uh, so we are uh, playing Wingspan tonight, uh, friends. Thank you again for joining us. This is Tabletop Tonight. I'm hanging out with Becca Scott and D. Jake Michaels. We're going to get this game going, and uh, let me do this here oops that's not it all right here we go so we've got wingspan happening and yeah that worked oh jake's face is covered but we can fix that i can just I, like this <laughs> get a little booster just, just a real quick tech question am i still super loud you're good now okay yeah thank you yeah all right so, uh, yeah, we are going to play uh, Wingspan, folks, and we're just going to talk through the game as we go. Um, it's a basic uh, engine building game, and what we're doing is we're trying to attract birds to our uh, preserves here. Um, we have forest, uh, wetlands, or um, I don't know what the middle one's called. I just call it yellow. Grasslands. Um, but grasslands, thank you. And uh, we're just trying to attract birds here. We're going to gain victory points on the different birds that we attract. Uh, there are different goals that we're going to talk about um, as we play. Uh, but let's jump right into it, shall we? Uh, Jake, I believe, is first. Are we all three in the game? I hope so. No, I'm not in the game yet, but I did just make the count 0 0.01 seconds ago. Oh, okay. That's the thing I was saying. So I'm in the setup menu. I think we might need to recreate really fast. I'm not sure if we can add her mid-game. Okay. 
So, so wait, I'm, anyway, I'm going to go. Yeah, no, no, it's, you know, this is a totally professionally run uh, live stream, as you can tell. Mm -hmm. I, I am going to go, let's set up a game. Let's set up um, a game. Yeah. Now, online, actually, let me unshare this for just a second. Okay. The secrets. Yeah, let's do secret stuff here. Ooh, now are you guys I friends know. on Steam? Oh, we are. Okay, good. Right. We, we should be, right? Okay. You should. You. you guys should be friends. You guys would be great friends on Steam. Thanks. Yeah, let's be friends, Becca. I have okay. high aspirations for our Steam friendship. <laughs> now, now I'm like, I, have the, I feel the pressure now. He never messages oh, me. Click, click. <laughs> Uh, invite a friend. Let me invite Jake. And I have invited Becca. And that should be... Are y'all there? I have been added to a game. Okay. Mm -hmm. and I Becca, see two players. Okay. I see a third player has entered. Hey. Oh my goodness. Uh, I believe we're all in. We are in. Yay. Here we are. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I have, let me go to this view here. And this game is gorgeous. This is such a beautiful implementation. Um, I have to draw. Hey, what is the, where's the setup? Um, We're in it. So I believe Becca, who is the leftmost character, mm -hmm. has to her beginning cards so we have to choose between our five cards in our hand and our five resources in front of us we have to choose five to keep i believe okay isn't that the setup that is correct so you you choose your starting cards and then you will choose your starting uh resources or your food and we all start with again it depends on which cards you want to keep now um, here's the thing i remember Mm -hmm. You have to immediately feed these birds, and however many birds you keep, um, for each bird card that you keep, you must discard one of your starting food pieces. Is that right? Yes. So every, yeah, for one card, you discard one food. I see. The game describes it very well. It says, choose five things to keep among birds and cards and food. That's such a better way of doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a much better way. But uh, right. something to keep in mind, Becca, is on your screen, which I don't know if you can see it on Ruel's screen, there also is a little icon on a tab on the bottom right, which is your two uh, bonus point cards. I don't know if that's what they're called, but they're like end game scoring points. Like you get two points for every bird that has a certain symbol kind of thing. Yes, choose yep. one bonus card. <laughs> so you'll want that might factor into the cards you start with. Hey, talk amongst yourselves. Okay. okay. So, Jake, what's um, any new burritos uh, have you enjoyed lately? Anything oh, thank good? you for asking, Ruel. Um, I Today, <laughs> I sampled a Hugo's burrito from um, Atwater Village here in Los Angeles. Um, I've had it before. It's a, it's one of my uh, Jake standards, I like to call it. Uh, it and, was. Go ahead. And what what is in this uh, the Hugo's burrito? Uh, this uh, this particular one was a chicken and black bean burrito. We definitely added guacamole, which really uh, livened things up for a Thursday. <laughs> um, it's also one of those burritos that's as large as, uh, your head. So I was unable, uh, it's, it's one of those things where you have enough leftover to make something interesting afterwards with the leftovers. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Those, uh, so you have a burrito for, was it for lunch and then you're going to have it for, uh, for dinner again? <laughs> I've actually, uh, I have a nice plate of sushi right next to me that was just delivered to me. Ooh. So, uh, I'm yeah. looking for the confirm button. <laughs> it should be towards the right side. I believe the little arrow pointing to the right. You would think. One would think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Step one, and I'm already failing <laughs> you. Oh, I have to choose which food to keep. That's what I'm missing. I didn't do yes. all the tasks. Yes. Okay, now we're ready to party. Awesome. Party time, folks. Ooh, I guess Jake is choosing his birds and food to keep. It's yes. probably real well now, actually. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, I won't look here. Let me. Arrange okay, so phone. I, so I you're... will choose now. Becca, you're the moose. Ruel, you're the bird, and I am the park ranger. Oh, okay. I see. So it. again, if uh, friends watching at home, you see these top four goals here. These are the goals for each round of the game. Oh so yeah. So 
Yeah, so let's not forget about those. Uh, you're, we're going to get ranked. So the first, the player in first place will get the most points for each of these in the four rounds. Uh, so the first one is going to be the birds with this type of symbol. I call it the Hey, well. Yes. They actually can't see that because of the tabletop tonight icon, but if you click it, it should open up a full menu to show you it. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, let's see. Click it. There it is, folks. Better. Thank you, Jake. Yeah. Uh, so we have the four different goals that we're going to go throughout the game here. Round one, you want the birds. I call it the Canadian birds because it looks like a Canadian flag. <laughs> uh, uh, those, those, those type of birds with an egg on it. Okay. And then the next one, the round two, the count the number of total eggs if your birds have laid in this specific habitat row. Multiple eggs on one bird each count. And then these are chosen at random. These are also uh, round three, the birds in this specific nest type. The number of eggs there and finally the total number of birds that you have played into your habitats okay all right so i'm going to choose the birds i want to keep now so i'm going to keep this one and i am going to keep do, do, do this one and then i need to get rid of uh i need to pay for these so i'm going to keep this food this food i'm going to pay this pay this and i got to pay one more uh let's pay this one okay so i pay and then i choose this yeah that's sort of a bummer right uh do, 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 do. this one is do, 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 do. okay we'll go with this one and what's really nice is it updates us on everybody's progress of on the round goals yeah also jake i don't like that you chose a picture that's a question mark face me too. Uh, it's not question mark once I'm revealed, I think. I think once I choose my stuff, it'll it'll begin. Good. Oh, okay. Unsettling to me. What I'm so sorry. Face? No, there's a real face there. But it will be revealed when I choose my beds. <laughs> <laughs> Slackfish says, uh, Ruel, Jake is so helpful. You should have him on all your streams. Yeah, Jake. All See right. See you tomorrow, buddy. <laughs> Sponsored by me. Yeah, for yes. Sure. And I said, Jake. Hey, you have to work on everything I do ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't have a choice. <laughs> so, Ooh. Becca, what about what about you, Becca? Have you enjoyed any uh, burritos recently? Uh, in fact, I enjoyed a burrito this morning. In fact, it's my favorite burrito that we order from <laughs> all the time, and I'm getting a little burnt out on breakfast burritos. Uh, but is it the village one? Cafe Los Feliz. No, oh, that, one, that mm -hmm. one's that one's a dud, actually. Sorry, Jake. Yeah, I don't like it either. Actually, that's fine. It's not good. No, it's not a Jake standard. No, I'm apologizing because one time I ordered one for you, and as a burrito file, <laughs> a renowned burrito file. It's okay. Yeah. I, I felt no uh, shame. Don't don't feel ashamed. A subpar burrito. No, no, no. That's okay. I've had plenty of subpar burritos, which are still okay in my book. <laughs> I yeah. Whenever I we I would say that. <laughs> whenever I hang out with Jake, I'm always uh, conscious of bringing my uh, A game when it comes to burrito order. <laughs> <laughs> what do you Bre order for breakfast if not burritos, though? Right. This is it's, where I'm struggling. It is it is the best uh, breakfast food for sure. Well, the reason why I've had so many is not only are, have Jake and I been filming a lot, but uh, my husband works for College Humor, and they have been filming uh, many sketches around the house of late, and uh, burritos are always ordered when that happens. Nice. And I demand as a tax on the house. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And that's why I got one today. Very the location, today. location fee. <laughs> mm -hmm, exactly. That'll be one burrito. I may Let be me... undercharging for LA prices. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I would uh, gladly, so... I would gladly uh, take a burrito to use use my house for a set. Okay, hey. so where are we at? It's, I'm sorry, I'm just finishing my selection. I just oh, got to figure it out. It's it's a lot of choices. It really is. It's intense. Right. This interface is beautiful. We did a stream playing on Tabletop Simulator, and it was. Even a really nice tabletop simulator version of this game, but this is next mm -hmm. level. Yeah, this is really nice. All right, yeah. the bell has what? rung for me to figure out where the buttons are in this version. <laughs> yeah, you're right about, I mean, just the animations and stuff. And I think I turned off the trivia. There's like a thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, where, yeah. 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 Where it shows trivia for all the different birds. I don't know why this screen kept, keeps coming back to me. I want to stay on this one. 
Yeah, so friends in uh, chat, there are two different views. I have this view here, which the pretty view, right? And then we have the standard view, which is the, the actual game board that you would play in, in real life, right? This is this, but you know we're here on Steam. I want to play the pretty version, so here it is. Ooh, are they getting the audio? They are. What's going on? Awesome. Okay, so I have played my bird. All yeah, right. that's right. Turn one, bird down. What? <laughs> I do have a finch tattooed on my foot. I would show you, but I think that breaks the Twitch terms of service. There's a few things. Uh, now, so... Becca, have you pressed the, the arrow uh, for completing your turn? I don't know that I have. I have to choose one bonus card to keep and one to throw back. Oh, gosh. Oh, bonus card. So this is end of game points. My secret abilities that none of you are going to know about. <gasps> Real quick, what um what are end game points beyond the feathers that they have on the birds? And then is there points for eggs or anything else or resources? Yes, great question. So at the end of the game, along with your secret bonus card, and then all the goals that we scored during the game, you get one point per egg that's on card. And then you get the actual victory points for the uh, birds that are on there. Like the, the number next to the feather are victory points at the end of the game. And any food that you have uh, cached on a card that are just sitting there, you'll get one point per food. And I believe that's it. One point per food in your personal area? No, that's on top of any of your cards. That's on top of your cards? Why yeah. would they be on top of your cards? Some of the cards, you, uh, some of the birds I will allow you to play a food before. there. <laughs> I don't remember putting food on birds. That seems uh, like people would not be cool with that. Yeah, no, there, there, there are certain birds, and I think I have one actually. We're, let me see. So I'm going to turn. So yeah, that's the end of the game points. Just your victory points on the birds, the goals that we scored during the game, and then the eggs and food on top of your birds. Okay, confession time. Uh oh, confession time. Uh, I have a bird that allows you to put food on it. It's called caching it. I understand. Caching it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is there an interface that looks like the the player card? Yes, it's the bottom left button that has like little like a uh, three rows. Oh, thank five goodness. Columns. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. We're here. Well, I wonder if I can click on y'all's player cards. <gasps> and I can. Your face up top. Yes. Nice. And then I have a question because I don't remember the turn order of this game. You always play a bird every turn or you just take a row every turn? Oh, that's a great question. Yeah. So you're going to take one action per turn. Uh, there are four different um, areas. Uh, the top is this uh, area here where you can play a bird. To You just choose one from your hand. And you're going to play it in one of your habitats. Uh, th this habitat here, you can choose food from the bird feeder. Uh, this one here, the grasslands, you will lay eggs. And then finally, this one, the wetlands, you will draw bird cards. So you just uh, go there, click on one of those, uh, the one that's open uh, to the far left. If, if you see my screen there, click to lay eggs. And then the blue one, you would click to draw birds. And the forest, you would click to draw from the bird feeder. So you only lay birds by you can only put birds down by using the topmost action, right? Correct. And the way uh, the way I do it is just grab your bird card and try to put it in an open slot and right. let you know. Yeah. Right. But and that's it, that's what everybody does on their first turn is you gotta start laying birds because you want to get combos for later turns. Exactly. Right. Okay. Yeah. In that case, um, we're gonna go. You guys want any bird facts? Bird fact, yeah, go for it. Yeah. This isn't from me. This is from Distant Bubble who says Birds always carry reusable shopping bags. Oh, nice. That is a little known I'm fact. Environmentally conscious. Yeah. Thank um, you, Distant Babble. Yeah, I'm sure that the birds were told, though, that you can't use a reusable shopping bag because of COVID, and they were angry and stormed out of that grocery store. So there, <laughs> so there were a bunch of angry birds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that still a thing? Is angry birds still a thing? I don't know. I played once. <laughs> All right, I'm a simple gamer with simple tastes, and I need to look at my board. I'll slowly become accustomed to how fancy this interface is, but I need to look at my board from the top menu when you click on people's faces, and it shows you their player board, like the tabletop version. I feel so Yeah, there. okay. So there's Jake. Uh, this is me, and there's Becca. Oh, wow, we all have different, like, oh, that's cool, like the different backgrounds. So I had a um, 
I just cast a uh, cast. I just put put a <laughs> a red shouldered hawk into my area, and then I didn't see if it's activated. Oh, when activated, not when. when what played. is the, when played? Okay, yeah. okay. I mean, do you use yeah. your turn to activate the row? Right. But, mm -hmm. um, how do you you just click on the card? You click on the row, and all yep. the the rows button happens, oh. and then everything to the left goes. I think. Oh yep. my goodness! <laughs> all right, so I've got one in my tree zone, <laughs> but it it had an enter the battlefield effect, if you will, for oh, okay. magic, magic parlance. Nice. Um, so that's not going to help me when activated. <gasps> You know what's going to help me is getting food that is nourishing and delicious. And so I will. Ah, I see. When you activate the forest lands. Yes. So you on in your. Here's a yeah. From the bird feeder. Yes. And yeah, I we've... shall. Nice. Got it. She's getting it. She's clicking buttons. We're all clicking buttons, mashing buttons, folks. And we're going to figure this out. I think we're on our way. All right. uh, my buddy Terry, hand hippo. Yes, I am indeed a moose. I'm feeling this moose. <laughs> he's a very anthropo anthropomorphized moose, though. He looks like uh, he stands on two legs. Okay, I'm going to go get some food. So I go to this. I click on getting food. I will choose one for the bird feeder. Uh, let's go with a cherry. And then I will go there. And then when activated, I gain a... Um, wheat if available and i will take that because of my bird activated the red-bellied woodpecker and that's the end of my turn awesome. so let's click on jake now click q jake. yeah i know that there is a um an area from which i could buy birds oh yes Excellent. all the way at the bottom yeah the wetlands got it and then it allows you to look at the birds too and can you you can only take the ones in the tray the three that are available right Correct, or you can draw off the deck blind. Right. The old blindy draw. The old blindy draw. <laughs> oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, okay. Um, it's actually, how do you go back? Oh, there's a back button. Perfect. Uh, let's mm -hmm. see. Okay, interesting, interesting. We're going to have a snowy egret enter the old wetlands. Oh, no. Really? Yeah. Get ready, Becca. He's a 4-4 <laughs> four, four with flanking and flying. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I can Be see. Yeah, Becca, <laughs> we've, we've seen this before. We've mm -hmm, seen this before. Mm -hmm. And actually, did you want to have a trade agreement, Ruel? Is that what you wanted to do? Uh, so, okay. I need your support for the throne, my friend. Okay. You, you have it. <laughs> It's funny, I can get the support from the throne for you, and I'll still lose. That's the sad thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it is uh, Becca's turn. Yeah, party on. <laughs> That's a thing I say to waste time. Oh, okay. take your time. That's all good. Gosh, I'm really thinking that I need more birds in my bird cache. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Can we talk while she's thinking about the actions on the board? Yeah. So, for instance, in the uh, forest lands, the second box there, if you were to click forest lands, would activate, and then your bird would activate, right? Correct. What is the second? Um, so in that second box there is roll the die, the food dice, and then you can take one of those. Uh, or actually, you don't roll it. You just get one of the ones that's in the bird feeder currently. Correct. And, and then... then yeah. Uh, below that line, it's an optional action where you can discard a card in order to take a second food. Discard a card. Okay, cool. Yes. Good to know. And also, if there's ever a time when the all the food and the bird feeder are the same, you have the option to re-roll all the dice in the bird feeder. Oh, I don't yeah. think I knew that. Yeah. Oh, you knew. <laughs> no, I mean, I knew it at one point in my life. I don't think I saved that in my hard drive. I'm, I'm uh, <laughs> it was just in the temp folder. We um, learned so many games, Becca. You know this. Hmm. They don't all stay with you for all of time. I'm not as instinctual as you, as you like to say. <laughs> <laughs> Jake reads the rule book and I just osmote. 
I just guess what rules are. And it's true. Out of 10. <laughs> now you have a good memory for it, for sure. <laughs> this is my only skill in this. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just clicking desperately. How do I get the bird food? Uh, the bird food, you go up to the forest oh, section. Gather. Yeah. There she it is. Should be a gather. Okay. We're working for it. We're making moves. It's a slow start, but let me tell you, when I get my bird engine going, y'all better stand back. Bird engine. All in from the sky. Bird engine. Okay, It'll so it's my raining. turn. Okay. Bird engine oh. should be the name of our metal band, Ruel. Oh, bird engine sounds oh. awesome. <laughs> bird engine. Bird engine. Uh, Thank you for coming know. out tonight. We are Bird Engine. We just had a burrito, and we're going to play a 45-minute set. <laughs> I know we were scheduled for an hour 40, but we can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, gain food from the bird feeder. I like um, your metal joke, but I was laughing at uh, it's like deciding <laughs> to side with Varys or Littlefinger. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so now I'm going to take this rat. And then, because there is a wheat in there, I get that for free. My red-bellied woodpecker enjoys getting free food. Oh, goodness. I need to get some woodpeckers in my life. And there's Jake. There's Jake. Okay. I don't know why this keeps switching back. I, I like this view, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I alt-tabbed out of there, and when I came back in, it gives me a little um, speech bubble for both of you to tell me what you did on your turn. And under Becca's, it just says, I gained food. And then under Wells, it goes, I gained food. <laughs> That's, That's it. Thing, Jake. Okay. I gained food? Food? So here's a question, Ruel. Down in the wetlands, what's the second box mean there? Which is draw a bird card from the bird tray, and then you may you sacrifice may just, an egg? Yes. Uh, any egg that's on your birds, you may toss one away, and you will get an extra card. But I have none, therefore cannot. Correct. Got it. And then on the eggs, it's just put on the, excuse me, on the grasslands, it's just put two eggs anywhere. Okay. C correct. Okay, okay. And just as a reminder, when you're so we've all put one bird in our um, habitats right now. Those are for free. As you build towards the right, each one you'll have to pay an egg in addition to the food cost. Okay. These so dang so once you get yeah birds. these these darn birds. We're living our best PG thirteen life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need me. <laughs> Okay, well, with that in mind, um, we're going to go... So if I hit my food, it'll activate my bird in the next row over. Correct. Okay. Um, we'll grab the old food. I will also gain food. Take one of these. Take the old fish. I'll activate it. Look at this from behind the deck if it's under 75 centimeters. Come on, baby. Small bird, small bird, small bird. Big bird. Yeah. You may Ew. cash on this card. Boo. I mean, well played. Ruel's a good sport, and I corrupt him. You, you totally do. <laughs> so is that worth a victory point at the end of the game? It is, yes. Any tuck awesome. Oh, that's another thing. Any tucked cards are one point each. That's great. Love what? it. Yeah. And I gained food. Hazing? Yes. Oh, now we're on to Becca's turn. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, you know what? Y'all aren't giving me the food in the feeder that I'm looking for. Let's see. I guess I could just... Uh, so when you go to the wetlands, that's when you get a new bird card, huh? Mm -hmm. Correct. When you activate the wetlands. Right. I think that sounds fun. Okay. Now, uh, you do have the option, Becca, if you want to take from the bird feeder the food, because they are the same symbol, you may reroll all the dice in order to try to get what you would like. Undo buttons. I remember that <laughs> now. There it is. I knew this, and I remembered. Nice. And also, if there's only one die in the bird feeder, that does count as having the same symbol, so you can take the one die and reroll all of them. And Becca has re-rolled. You didn't give me what I wanted! <laughs> <laughs> now, 
Now, one other thing that we have to mention, at any time when you're um, trying to pay for birds, you may take two food and convert that into the one food that you need. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll take a fish and be on my way. <laughs> Good day to you. Good day. Nice. Says the moose. Okay. So five turns left uh, for this round. Um, so I want that pretty view. I don't know. Why does it keep giving me this view? So Jake and Becca have both gained food. I am going to... Um, let's lay some eggs, shall we? I'm always feeling that egg laying. Yeah. Laying eggs. Uh, one, two. Lay some eggs on the woodpecker. And I'm out. Wow. Brave choices. Love it. Yeah. Brave man. Uh, he's a brave man. I'm, oh man, I'm really considering doing the same. Um, talk, us, talk us through it. All right. Well, here's what I'm thinking. It's like, do I want to get more birds now or do I want to put an egg on my birds to get more birds next turn? Because I can sacrifice, uh, excuse me, I say sacrifice like this is Magic the Gathering. I can put an egg in the graveyard. And uh, <laughs> and then get more translated into terms. I understand. <laughs> I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna also legs. This interface, once you get used oh, to it, is awesome. Room in Isn't it though? Yeah, it's so quick and efficient. I'm sorry, you missed me say that. Both of you have some real womb envy. <laughs> <laughs> You think so? You think so. You both laid eggs in this turn. Is that a uh, diagnosable uh, condition? Is womb well, envy? Well, some male doctor made up penis envy. Some male doctor. <laughs> Guess what? Not real. <laughs> some insecure <laughs> man you made up penis envy. Well, camping. That is the only thing I've had envy for. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I get that complaint from Katie as well. It's like, man, men are so lucky. They can just pee anywhere. It's like, look, <laughs> you can pee anywhere too. It's just not as easy. Well, yeah. I yeah, know. I get it. Both ways. It's less comfortable. But who has a funnel at all times? I gotta go. Ruel told me to keep it PG thirteen, and I who thought I did. I thought it was gonna be kind of, you know, the word penis is a an, an, anatomical term. There's no shame. It is. It is. <laughs> and this is definitely PG thirteen ish at this. Oh, point. Yeah, so we're, we're emphasizing fight. the thirteen. Yeah. Yes. You can't show nipples. That's right. Yeah. You can't say nipples, Jake. Yes, you can. It's an anatomical term. <laughs> I gotta go. Oh, y'all are killing me. I love it. Uh, Alex, uh, Alexander, <laughs> yes. I, I knew what I was getting into, my friend. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You walked into this real well. <laughs> totally walked You have no one to blame but yourself. Uh, Absolutely. This is, this is how Jake uh, tricks everyone. <laughs> <laughs> jokes about metal bands and then switch yeah. in win it all. Exactly. Uh, okay, so it's my turn. Uh, while I take my turn, Jake, uh, favorite metal bands. Can you uh, name some of your favorite metal bands, my friend. Sure. I mean, and right now. Recite all their lyrics. Recite all their lyrics, just go through the whole songs. Sure. Uh, uh, I mean, right now, I've been listening to um, a fair amount of Howling Giant, Howling as well Giant. as Forming the Void. These aren't um, the, yeah, These aren't real. Um, and then, of course, one of the classics that I love is Mastodon, who I can never really get sick of. That one's real. And uh, one okay. one that Ruel's probably seen in concert, uh, good old Metallica, actually. I have. Just, they just came out with SNM2, which is the album that where they play with the San Francisco Symphony Orchestra and themselves. They just recorded it last year. Uh, I was lucky enough to go to that very concert that they recorded the album on. Wow, really? Yeah, it was way cool. It was one of the best nice. concerts I've ever been to. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Uh, be oh, so it's uh, I've taken my turn. It's Jake's turn. Becca, are you into metal? <laughs> not, not into metal. I just uh, the only music I listen to is Hamilton on repeat because I just <laughs> it out. it's really good. Um, don't know if anybody my, knows about this. Yeah. Uh, so ha Hamilton. Oh my gosh! I finally got to see it the uh, <gasps> when it was it was on uh, Disney Plus in July, right? Oh, so, that's where I watched it. Yes. Yeah. The, the first day it was out, Michelle, Lauren, and I, we watched it. And then, yeah, we watched it on repeat pretty much all of July. 
to get, you know, that was like, you had that like <laughs> for one month of Disney Plus. Oh my gosh, so, so good. We did a, um, a movie night on Discord with just some friends. We call it uh, Social Distancing uh, Social Club. And uh, we did, <laughs> nice. we did a, a like watch along version and I was bawling the whole time. I've only seen it once. And I had oh. seen the soundtrack before ever seeing it. And I was like, yeah, it's good music, sure. But it didn't really understand the story structure. And since then, every day when I get ready in the morning, I listen to Hamilton. Like, I'm sure <laughs> nice. I never know what yeah. song I'm going to sing really loud to in the shower today. <laughs> awesome. I'm all about, you got to, what was it? Uh, I want to, I'm not going to miss my shot. Wait, well, how's it go? Yeah. I got to take my shot, right? And I'm not gonna throw away my shot. Away. shot. And I'm not shot. throwing not away, away my, my shot. shot. Yeah, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm <laughs> yeah. in my country. And I'm not there throwing away is. my shot. And that's as much as we can do before copyright infringement. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so y'all are pros. You know exactly. You have that. You know the limit that we can do. And then, <laughs> <laughs> well, I have learned if you never hit the correct notes, then you're never breaking any laws. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that's why I sing off key. That's the reason. <laughs> nice. Me too. That, that's my excuse. Uh, Han Hippo has a couple of comments here. Uh, Ruel, what is your favorite metal band? And have any of you seen Hamilton? Again, I've only seen it on we Disney+. We've covered Plus. one of those. We've we'll covered one of those. My favorite metal band. That's a, that's an interesting question. So I grew up in the time when we had the big four. Uh, Metallica, ah. Metallica, Megadeth, Anthrax, and Slayer. I've been fortunate to see them all. I nice. don't have... Yeah, I don't have a favorite. I, I sort of, you know, just whatever I'm in the mood for, whenever. And Michelle calls it my devil music. So whenever I'm in the music yeah. for devil music, you know, those are one of the four I will listen to. With love, I assume. Absolutely. My, my yes. mom used to call it my angry music. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was into Screamo back in the day. Wow. Yeah. I really liked a, a band called Fear Before the March of Flames. Oh. I literally cannot remember all these bands when I went to a concert every night. Yeah. Nice. Just like the angry screaming, you know, related to my teenage self. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is that my turn? Sorry. Uh, so we got three turns left here, folks. Um, Hold on. I think I'm doing something. No, oh, you're it Interesting. Okay. I didn't activate. I played a card. I didn't get to do that thing till I activate. <laughs> My job. Yeah. Got. Yeah, I've, I made that mistake <laughs> too. You guys. You took. I think you took the card I was looking to get to go draw bird cards. So you kind of foiled oh, my plan. Yeah. Yeah. I bet Maybe it felt you good. Focus more on the game and less on naming metal bands, Jake. <laughs> well. <laughs> If I can name metal bands and Amanda can record a podcast while moderating chat, I think I can also just balance it out. So. True. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> this need to build grebe. <laughs> to differ. Wait, did I? What am I doing here? So I wait. Where am I? It's my turn. Who is you this? You are in your house, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in front of a green screen, <laughs> sitting at a computer. Oh, do I want to skip this power? I don't want to skip this. Don't what ever skip I? the power, right? Like I laid. Oh, I know what it is. I have to do this. Roll all dice down there. Okay, so I'm gonna roll. And uh, no rats, so I don't get that. And it is now Jake's turn. Come on, Ruel. Oh boy, you leave me with these options. Yeah, plenty of options. I dislike them though. Yeah, I'm not really too. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my options. What am I supposed to do? So, this is Jake's hand, this is mine. Click to show Wait. Okay. No! What? Can I go back? All right. So click that. All right. I was just trying to figure out how do you the the option of selecting another one by selecting an egg. Mm. Eggs left discard. You one. don't want. Oh, that. you choose. Don't, don't just give up. Okay, you choose that one. Is it working? <laughs> It's so sad when you select an egg, it makes a bird noise. <laughs> You're like, which egg do you want to get rid of? And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> like you can hear the mom. It's like, oh, what are you doing? My gosh. 
stealing Dark. food from her babies. Dark. No, baby birds don't eat eggs, Ruel. <laughs> 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 oh, that's like feeding pork to cat to pigs. Uh, to pigs, right? <laughs> it causes mad cow disease. All these re- these are all different animals. Um. Anyway, my turn oh. is done. Oh, okay. I almost chose the same park ranger that you did, Jake, because I thought it looked like me. Correct, which is why I chose it as well. I was hoping we would both look exactly like you. Cute, cute, fun, <laughs> fun choice, Jake. You troll. Uh, hey. uh, get out of here. We can't all look as good as you. <laughs> I was making faces and you didn't see. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> Were they troll faces? It's my pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'd be surprised how many chins I can make. How many chins can you guys make? Oh, well, you got a beard. You can't yeah. play this game. Sorry. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. I'm just, what's in the tray, huh? What are birds eating nowadays? Nothing great. Can you guys take the yeah, dice out of there right so I can make a new plan? <sighs> <sighs> what do vultures even eat? <laughs> oh. I see. Okay. You know what? I want more more things in my hand. Mm-hmm. Oh shoot! I gotta lay eggs before that can happen. There's a series of turns that I just figured out. Click on birds to lay eggs, and I shall. And we go. A best turn. Nice. <laughs> nice. You so know, we have also- two tur- two turns left in this round, folks. The Ooh. The color uh, coordination on the score chart, although probably not the easiest for colorblind people, is really cool too. It shows your own personal color in. Oh, interesting. Never mind. You guys are both yellow and I'm blue. I just realized that. Oh, you can make your you color specific. Be, you chose to be human. Yes. Oh, in our choose your color oh. screen, Ruel, I think we both chose yellow. Oh, okay. I like to choose it because it's close to gold and that's first place. Oh, uh, that's my reason too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a bird. I am going to choose. Cho- cho- choose. What is that move? Oh. Uh oh. Ben Osteen says, "Just finished our game of wingspan." Uh oh. Does oh. anybody have a red-tailed hawk? I have a red-shouldered hawk. Haha. <laughs> well, it seems to be a problem for me. Uh oh. I don't want you to have that. Throw it away, please. Ooh, what'd you do on your turn, Ruel? Uh, I selected a bird. Drawn birds, he said. All I right. drew a bird, my friend. Good time. Well, we're gonna uh, we're gonna place a yellow-bellied sap sucker. You you would. I would. Click on a bird from any habitat to spend an egg. Why would I spend an egg? It's giving me an option to spend an egg when I make a bird. Is that a thing? Uh, which one is it? The yellow? Yeah, it doesn't have an activated ability, though. It, or, excuse me, a summon ability. It just says gain uh, one worm from the supply when activated. Yeah, so wherever, when you play the bird, uh, whatever row it's in, when you activate that row, you will get a free food, basically. Right, but uh, right now it's asking me to click on a bird from any habitat to spend an egg, and I don't understand why. Oh, because oh, you have to distribute your eggs because each of them has a capacity. Sorry, Ruel, I jumped in, but I got very excited. No, you're good. Uh, because right now you have a snowy egret and it has one bird, one egg on it mm-hmm. already. Is that yep. right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and you only have the capacity for one more egg on that snowy egret. But I have no yeah. eggs to place. I just activated the uh, yellow-bellied sapsucker, as in, like I do, I chose to place it from my hand and pay its cost. Oh, uh, okay. So if you're placing it awesome. in a, a row with another uh, bird, you're going to have to pay a cost, an additional cost. So in addition to the food, you'll notice that oh, there are... Oh, right. Right, yeah. right, You're right, crazy. Right. I remember. <laughs> you spend the egg because that's what the cost is on the top. Correct. I understand now. Thank you. Yep. So the first the first crazy bird on the it. left is free, then after that, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> that's my turn. Oh, yes. wow. 
I got plans. Okay, so I had to get eggs because then I can pay an egg to get a new card. Because I saw something cool over there. Oh. What'd you see? I can't tell you. Sure. I saw a black vulture. <laughs> black vulture. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. So it doesn't cost any food to purchase it or, you know, recruit it. Oh, but yeah. when another player's uh, skull and crossbones succeeds, gain a food from the bird feeder. That seems like a nice passive way to be getting more food. And I like food. <laughs> I guess it's that, only two victory points. And that's, yeah, that's why. a low victory point. And so, does it not uh, cost anything to build it? That's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is a very vulture thing to do, right? Just you know. <laughs> vulture stuff, baby. Yep. Okay. And then when that was activated because of my peed pied piper bird, I don't know, I can't read it right now. I get to draw two cards, keep one and discard the other. Nice. All right, we're taking a pine. I won't even tell you. You don't even need to. <laughs> <laughs> You're not taking the vulture? You're taking Not the vulture, huh? The pine siskin? That's right. Okay. Oh, don't skip. Hold on. I'm doing something wrong. Draw two cards. If you do, discard one from your hand. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, there's like these little steps it reminds you about. Maybe it's allowing me to also draw from the pile. It is, and I don't understand. So if you take one, you, it doesn't get replaced automatically, which is like you can choose two. You can yep. choose two from the pile or draw from the deck. Correct. Okay. Yeah, the birds, uh, when you draw from the tableau there, they will be refilled at the end of the turn. Got it. Got it. Right. It was giving me the option of the other two face-up cards. I foolishly gotcha. drew from the deck, but that's whatever. Hey. Gotcha. Maybe it was the right choice. Maybe it was. Only a vulture okay, so. would know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am going to go here. What do I? I need um, cherry, cherry, and a worm. So let's go. Mm, tasty, wholesome meal you got there. Yeah. And cherry, cherry, worm was the name of your first metal band, right, Ruel? It was, yes. Uh, cherry, cherry, um, cherry, worm. Cherry. And then we became the... Uh, what would we call? Oh, we became the uh, new Cherry Cherry Worm Band. Mm. And, and then, you, right? And you, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you I'll with an good. umlaut. <laughs> the umlaut. That's Ooh, very. Now that's a band name. <laughs> that, yeah, the umlaut makes it very metal. That's mm -hmm. that's right. I'm gonna take a fish. All metal is from Sweden. I thought. All, All metals from, from Sweden. <laughs> is that not correct? You are it's, correct. Uh... <laughs> A lot of good medals from Don't Sweden. laugh at me. <laughs> this is my understanding uh, of the world. Yes. Oh, Han Hippo's asking, best movie you have seen in the last two years? That's a long time, but maybe Knives Out. It is, yeah. Oh, Knives Out was good. Knives I would out say the good. movie that like was the one where I walked away going like, that blew me away it was Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah, yes. but that was 2017, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. It was 2017. But you're still thinking about it, so uh, yeah, I'm still thinking about sense. that movie. That movie blew that, me away. That movie was incredible. Right. Yeah. yeah, it could be 2018. <laughs> but what is time anymore? We've exactly. been at home for at least 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> what about okay. uh, Han Hippel? Also asks favorite movie of all time. Oh, all time. Goodwill Hunting. Goodwill Hunting. Oh yeah, very good movie. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Amelie. Amelie. Not your fault. Well, well, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> right, right here. That goes right. That line always. Oh gets shit! Me. Oh, wait, we no, have. Oh, excuse me. We have one cube left, so it's our last turn before the end of the season. Is that right? Correct. That is correct. And then we will score those goals. Well, you yeah. sneaky devil! I see. What, what happened here? Right? here. We what know what you're do? doing. Oh, we You've know. got more birds down. Not only does he have birds down, he's got somebody laying eggs on the old Canadian spots, I think. Oh. Where are they? No, do you? Oh, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, that's what he's got. <laughs> he's got a lot of them. Okay. Well, I'm out of cubes, and I really should have. Great. So that means I need to take advantage of the fact that you're out of cubes to get the extra points. Yeah. You know who loves uh, 
Canadians is the black vulture and it's in my hand and it's not going to make it on the board. Oh no. Yeah. Sad day. Goodwill hunting. I'm still thinking about that. Ugh, I, have, I mean, it's, it's been a while since I've seen that movie, but it's it doesn't always work enjoyed. as well on stream. But I love to just corner people and just keep saying it's not your fault until they <laughs> laugh and until they like look me in the eye and do nothing, and then maybe a tear falls. <laughs> <laughs> it holds up. Ugh. Oh my gosh! Yes. <laughs> There's so many good movies. I'm Did a cinephile, that... you know. Yeah. But I do have a top five of all time. Uh, okay. Breakfast of Tiffany's, but I have to erase every scene with Mickey Rooney. We can't acknowledge that those exist because they're racist uh, AF. Thank um, you so much. <laughs> but I love everything about the movie otherwise. And yeah. it uh, is part of the reason I have an Audrey Hepburn tattoo. <laughs> oh, really? Um, oh, yeah. I did not know that. And someday okay. I'll make a sketch about it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, Audrey Hepburn and Marilyn Monroe uh, are forever having tea upon my back. It's oh. better than the Mickey Rooney tattoo, which you covered up. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that I covered up for sure. Hey, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, there was much talk of putting RBG for many years. Um, Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> hey, oh. Hippo, how did you know that's in my top five? Now, something I rewatched recently that uh, I thought was in my top 10 and it is gone is Minority Report. Does not. Yeah, hold it up. does not hold up. I it's watched that movie, okay. and I thought it had a lot of futurism elements that I respected. And it turns mm -hmm. out, no, <laughs> no, it doesn't. Didn't hold yeah, up. No. Interesting. Free crime is interesting, but it's uh, you know. Yeah, okay. I showed that to Katie because she had never seen it before, and I was like, I and I love a lot of Steven Spielberg films, but I was like, oh, this is just not as good. It's like very two thousand and two or whatever year it came out. It feels like early okay. two thousand kind of. Uh. Yeah. So it doesn't hold up. Okay. Because no. I remember when I saw it, I really enjoyed it. But it, Same. That was one, same. That was I loved one it. time I saw it. Yeah. yeah. I loved it for a time. Wait, what's happening with this round one? Alexander, hold on. Before you say that, Alexander said Young Frankenstein, and that's in my top five. So Ooh, chat good. is on the, on the game. I saw that for the first time last year, and it was pretty good. Yeah. it's yeah. it's. But I think I it's one of Mel Brooks' best. Yeah. Right. So yeah. funny. Okay. So the first round we have scored here. Um I have I, I won this round for well, for four points, and then we are going to the next round where we are looking for the eggs in the blue section, the water section. Okay. Watertown. Watertown. Uh, so, oh, it's my no, is it my turn? Oh yeah, it is my turn. Uh, cool. I knew that. Um, Does is there like a first player marker that must rotate? Yeah. Yeah, it just rotates. First player just rotates. Uh, so I can play this bird here. Uh, let's play the yellow-breasted chat in the wetlands section. Um, I need to pay a cherry. And actually, I need to pay all that because I'm using two food as another food. Boom, boom, boom. I have played my card. Someone mentioned, let me see, young, yeah, young Frankenstein, definitely up there for me. Uh, Shawshank is another one that's up there for Shawshank's me. Shawshank's way good, yeah. Yeah, oh, always good. good. I, um, I need to give it a rewatch and see if it holds up. Okay. I'm a big definitely sucker. Definitely not sexual test, but, uh, <laughs> right. you know, what prison movie? That's right. Like, it's yeah. either a men's prison or a women's prison, so. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, So that, okay, now it's Jake's turn? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm just looking at the old birds available here. Man, yeah, Shaw just... Shawshank's one of those movies, like, if I if it's just on, I'll just watch it, you know, it'll just, wherever it is. That one, and one that I always, always end up watching is uh, Goodfellas. That one, if yeah. it's on TV, yeah, gotta Goodfellas watch it. Goodfellas is a repeatable one. Solid. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yes, first player does rotate. It yeah. all comes back to me now. Have you ever seen the French film Amelie? It'll change I, your life. I, is that the one? Is, that's not the one with Johnny Depp, is it? No. Wait, uh, is this the one? Think, the, uh, the woman has a bakery? Cow? Yeah, does she have a bakery in this one? She works at a pastry shop. Pastry and shop, yeah. uh, it's just a very unique way of filming uh when it introduces a character it's uh there's a narrator that tells you what they like and dislike and it'll be things like 
deeply love sticking their fingers into jars of uncooked beans. <laughs> um, but in the most beautiful French accent. Nice. I, yeah. I, I'm almost positive I've seen it. Does it doesn't? I don't remember though. I'm I'm just sad that uh, no, I'm not sad about this at all. I have a niece named Amelie, but now I can never name my future da daughter Amelie. There's already gotcha. an Amelie very dear to me in my life. Nice. So when I met her, I was like, favorite movie and favorite niece. No. It's okay, she's my only niece. <laughs> I was going to say, while you're choosing. Um, I do have a favorite nephew, but I won't say which one. Oh. oh. What if he finds this recording someday? <laughs> All right, Brayden, it's Caden. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Do you think Amelie's Jake, brother would be named Brayden? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, I got to really get in this game. My engine is slow to come online, but okay, so... <laughs> if I if I mm -hmm. I need uh -huh. to really get some bird feed going. That's what I need happening. Hello. So we're gonna play our black vulture, and I'm gonna need you all to play cards with um, cool stuff on them. Thank you. Oh, we need to play the death cards so you can get. Your oh stuff. damn it! Those are what I like though. You have one, don't you, Jake? I do. Yeah. Don't even worry about it. Just do it. Live your best life. I'm not gonna win. <laughs> Becca, what was you had an ability that allowed you to look at two more bonus? Uh, it was instead of activate, it's a when you play it, and it's uh, you know I think a activate ability is gets you way more value than a win placed. Well, that's fair, but like if if you get a win place like that, which gives you bonus points in the end game that you can pair up, that's pretty cool. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to grab a card. I'm going to take the Eastern Kingbird. Yeah, Eastern Kingbird it is. And then I could pay an extra, an egg to get an extra card. The Brothers I'm, Murph. The Brothers Murph's in the house, really? What's up? What up? Hey, uh, this is a great emote. Da eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> so good how you doing you're gonna get a friend ad there you go you gonna get a friend ad a friend dad you mean your friend's dad do you guys ever have a crush on your friend's dad Ooh, growing up? good question yeah, um, I'm trying to think if I had any crush on friends. Oh, my religion general. teacher in high school. Mm -hmm. Paul <laughs> Gramschuster. <laughs> Mr. Gramschuster, when he would talk about Yahweh, he had such passion. But he didn't push it on anybody because I was an atheist teenager. Therefore. What was I his name? Cram Houston? Paul <laughs> Gramschuster. Cram Very handsome. Very passionate about the Lord. <laughs> What was his, oh my what was his first name? I was not into religion. Paul. <laughs> Paul. Of course it Paul. was. Paul. Yeah. I mean, I just took electives if he was teaching them. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh. Oh. Wow. What a man. That's hilarious. I love it. Um, the, so the Brothers right Murph, <laughs> we are being raided. Uh, we are being raided by the Brothers Murph, apparently. So uh, thank you, Brothers Murph. And friends, um, Becca, I don't think Becca and Jake, you have not seen this yet, or maybe you have. But here on Tabletop Tonight, whenever we get rated, I bust out the rating hat. So just give me a second. I I'm have gonna... seen this. You, have you seen did it okay. on my stream. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so this is the raid. Um, yes! Folks. Yeah. I'm a little out of focus raid! here. Raid! Thank yeah. you, friends, for raiding us. This is Tabletop Tonight. I am playing Wingspan, my friends, Becca Scott, and the Jake Michaels. Thank you, friends, for hanging out with us. We're having a great time. We're talking about movies. We're talking about birds. We're playing Wingspan. And thank you again for hanging out with us. And to that, yeah. I say, Rule, I just want to say. Of our discussion topics, you left out religion teachers that we had crushes on. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yes. Becca was talking about. <laughs> was that on purpose? Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, of course, oh the gosh. classic Stacy's mom. 
which oh, I yeah. could recite the lyrics to, and I will choose not to. Thank you. But oh. by Fountains of Wayne. Fountains. Oh my gosh! Wow. Good call. I was. I. I don't remember that band's name, but I do remember that now. You just type something in chat from memory. Wow. <clears throat> Okay, so it is. Let me get Jake's screen up on here. Jake has the yellow bellied sapsucker and the red shouldered hawk. And, ooh, what else does he have? Those two there. And then the snowy egret in the bottom. Now, if Jake activates that top row for food, Becca's vulture comes into play. What's Jake going to do is the real question here. This He's been under a lot of pressure this game. Eat more burritos, my friend. Mm -hmm. I think that is the answer. That's brain food. Yes. All right. He's going to do this. Sorry for taking so long. Uh, and then I'll gain one of those from the supply. And then I look at a card from the deck. If it's under 75 centimeters, it is. It's a red-breasted nuthatch. Wow. No put cursing, it on Jake. Under there. <laughs> PG-13, please. <laughs> Gain food from the gain food from the bird feeder. Uh, it looks like my turn's over. Yeah, and I think Becca, you would get food from that, wouldn't you? Oh, yes, she should. Vulture. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Well, that does help me. Nice. Yes, I shall take this fish because you know what? Wow. There's a bird I'm I'm staring down over here. Oh, Banastiel or Benostein makes a good point. Uh the bird that I brought out and uh cashed was eaten by my red shouldered hawk. So oh. it was, you know, the nut hatch, but it's now been eaten by red shouldered. That's right. Very good lunch. I like that. I think they have a very nice red breasted nut hatch burrito down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Oh, hand hippo, great question. Uh don't know if you guys remember the song. Stacy's mom or Jesse's girl. I gotta go with Jesse's oh, girl. Jesse. Is there more? Jesse's girl from uh Rick Springfield. Well, one's right? a genuinely good song and one's a joke song. <laughs> so <laughs> they fit into different categories for me. I mean, one is also taking away your friend's uh or like uh pining after your friend's girlfriend, right? Yeah, hey, that's true. They're allowed. But Stacy's <laughs> mom's marriage has been in trouble for a while, and you know she needs um, attention. Yeah, you yeah. get it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Do you remember the scene from Boogie Nights where they played Jesse's girl like in the middle of that movie? It's like the craziest scene ever. You ever see Boogie Nights? Yes, I have, but I don't know if I remember. I thought you that said this was the PG thirteen stream. That's the I know, I was like, that's movie. the least <laughs> PG thirteen movie I've seen in a long in a while. Well, that scene. Well, anyways, that scene, that song. It's just so I don't know. It, it's so intense, and you never would. I never would have thought I would have heard that song in like such an intense scene. <laughs> Paul Thomas uh, Anderson can do that. Yeah. Okay, so it's my turn. I have no food. I need to get food, friends. Um, oh, you need a burrito. I do need a burrito. Let's go in here. There, there's cherries and worm burritos. So let's go here. Um, I am going to get a cherry burrito today. Whoops, I got to activate this habitat. Click to gain food and cherry. I'm going to have to say Jesse's girl. Official Jesse girl. Thank you. Yeah, I think Jesse's girl too. Yeah. You know, a real song always, always uh, beats a, a joke song. Absolutely. Who sang Stacy's mom, Becca? Fountains of Wayne. I already told you. Uh, name <laughs> two. See, yo, just name two other singles me. by Fountains of Wayne. There are none. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> okay, so it's back to Jake. Good old Jake. Yeah. <laughs> That's your name. <laughs> We're gonna put a northern shoveler on the board. Northern shoveler. Damn, damn right. Uh, I'm going to a habitat to spend an egg. Oh, I forget. We have to spend eggs on these guys. Yes. That's a lot of eggs spending. Ugh. Eggs. All right, mm. bye, egg. So be it. So lay it. 
Actually, <laughs> Fountains of Wayne have a huge number of really good songs. Nightcat, I just was giving a quippy retort, and I just don't know the answer to the question. And now I need to do my research. Um, just because Nightcat believes they have a number of good songs doesn't mean they have a single that you could name. <laughs> 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 because sure, Chumbawamba had a lot of good songs, but you could only name one of them. Really? They had a lot of good songs? No, they didn't. But I'm, I'm just trying to think of an only other one hit one. Yeah. <laughs> Is in the night away. I want a whiskey, dude. Things of all good Wait, now I'm thinking, what Chumbawamba song do I know? What's the one they did? Is you know Tub a... Thumper. Tub Thumper. Tub Thumping. Tub Thumping. Tub thump. Oh, is that the one I get knocked down? Blah, blah, blah. Yes, and then you like, get up again, but it yeah, the... it's never going to keep you down. Never going to keep you down. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Hmm. Gosh, I just need more eggs in my life, huh? Anybody else feeling this? It's one of those things. You need the eggs to do the things. Uh, other fountains of Wayne songs are Derek's sister, <laughs> uh, Trevor's cousin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Variations on a theme. Our accountant's neighbor's daughter. <laughs> Okay. Interesting. I'm Blue Dabba Dee Dabba Die is a song by Eiffel 65. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's... Uh, Alexander asked, name two songs by Eiffel 65, and I've got one covered. Anybody, uh... <laughs> I disagree respectfully. What, what's the second Eiffel 65 song? What, or the, just... I'm Blue is by... Uh... Is that by them? Isn't I Blew a Daft Punk, Daft Punk song? No. Okay, good. Oh, Jake. Okay. Oh, no, I'm thinking of so Around the World. Mistaken. An equally repetitive song. No, I'm Blue is definitely someone worse than that. I have a blue house with a blue window. <laughs> I'm the blue. It's funny, we added a chain smoker into that for somehow. Um, all right. Oh, my turn is coming up. This yep. is a big day for me. Get ready, folks. Gosh, I just need eggs in my life. As I said, <laughs> over and over. So do I. How many turns? We have like three turns left in this round. Yeah, I have four, but you've four? gone okay. this turn already, so you probably oh, have three. Right. Okay. Man, I really dislike my options. Uh, hey, let's go. It's not your fault, Jake. I know, but I blame it's not your fault. anyway. <laughs> right here. Feeling it right it's here. It's not your fault. So is everyone in chat crying right now? Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, here's a good question from a hand hippo. Another great question. Favorite Star Trek captain? Picard, baby, but Janeway is close second. Yeah. I think I'm going Picard. It. I just now noticed that the birds are animated. <laughs> and it's really nice. That's beautiful. Uh, let's uh, let's see. So Jake's. Let's see what birds are his animated. There, they're the animated hawk and sapsucker. The old sapsucker. Yep. Well, that's just that's just his woodlands. You should take a look at his his wetlands. Are we? Is there a card limit in our hand? Uh, no card limit. Huh. Yeah. Draw to your heart's content, my friend. I will. I will. I mean, just takes your turn is all. Uh, you all get to draw a card from the deck. Congratulations. Oh, yes. What? Woo! Okay. Oh, we each have four birds. Interesting. Hmm. Oh my gosh, my snowy egret has found zero fish this entire game. I've activated her like three times. Oh, oh yeah, you don't get the oh yeah, the food the fish. Yeah. You got a fish if you roll it. Yeah. That's a bummer. Ooh, I Tis. drew a card. I don't want it. But thanks. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, with no more eggs, my options are limited.
We're laying bird eggs. We're having a good time. It's a party. And that's three it. turns left. Oh my gosh. Three turns left. Three turns left. Just letting AFK for a second. Okay. What is this? Oh, choose a card. Duh. Okay. So I got that card. Uh, now what do I want to do? I want to lay eggs. Lay those eggs. Lay the eggs. I'm going to lay one here. Ooh. Lay one here. Okay. Uh, dice outside bird feeder. Oh, I get to roll. Is that right? What was that thing? So roll. All, okay. So this is like yours, Jake, where I roll all the dice, not in the bird feeder, but I can gain a rat and no rats. Rats. <laughs> no rats. Rats. I get it. I, yeah, I've had bad luck on mine. Yeah. Uh, Book of Nerds, yes. Basuro caliente, my friend. <laughs> Ooh, hot trash. Hot trash. Hot trash, indeed. What's hot trash? Um, what was God, it? I'm right here. I, I can roll. hear you. <laughs> okay, Jake, you laughed a little too hard at that one. Sorry. <laughs> you just hit me whenever I'm near you and I laugh it like that, so it's nice to be distant. <laughs> So let's take a look at Jake's board here, folks. What is Jake uh, going to do is the real question. Here. I really like board view. You know, I'm a sucker for the classic. The board you know, the view classic? in the bottom left, yeah, okay, it's very satisfying it to me. It's, it's Jake's going to well take a boring turn. Board He's going to just lay some eggs. Lay eggs. Uh-oh. Boring. Okay. So here's a Becca's. If we board. tie on a season goal, does it get split between us? It does. Okay. Uh, split, rounded down. Wait, why do you ask? Are we going to tie? Absolutely no reason. Okay, that means... Oh, man. Oh. Wait, let me look at here. Here's mine. Oh, you're going to beat me to that goal, Jake. Actually, Becca is going to win that goal. What? We're going. Huh? Who? Eight eggs. Okay. Um, you know, the, the end of this round goal, it's the number of eggs in the wetlands area. So let's roll. I mean, let's lay some eggs. So one goes here, and then one goes here. When and a mother bird legs, lays her eggs, she yells, roll out! <laughs> and that's, so that was the proper term. <laughs> like, that, like the early 2000s hip-hop song. L Luda! That, thank you. <laughs> Man... <laughs> What was I doing where someone is like, the game is name as many ludicrous so song lyrics as you can think of. <laughs> really? Yeah. This is a thing? I Wow. I, so don't, what, I don't know what who said this or why. I can't say that this person wasn't uh, in any state of, you know, yeah. um, disrepair. Okay. <laughs> any state of disrepair? I can't I think it. of no, words yeah, because it. you know what? I clicked the search on the lyrics to roll out, and I clicked on the <laughs> Google Chrome tab that had Paul Grabschuster on it, and now I just want to know what he's up to. <laughs> oh. Friends in chat, what are your favorite ludicrous songs? Drop them in the chat. <laughs> I want to know. Roll out. I, I know. I, I know. Uh, move, right? Get out the way. Um Move, friend, get out the way, I think is the lyric. Yeah. That, I think that, yeah, that is. That's the PG 13 version, I believe. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put a link in private chat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's <What>? my turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What a nice smile, huh? Uh <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Ah, um, uh, Board Game Blitz rated with a party of five. Yeah, thank you, Board Game Blitz. That means you all get the one and only. know what that means. <laughs> Raid hat. Thank you, Board Game Blitz. Rating <laughs> for a... <laughs> I'm here with Becca Scott and Jake Michaels. We are playing Wingspan here on Tabletop tonight. Thank you for joining us, friends. Let's get back to the game, shall we? Whoop. 
Oh wow. Okay, hold on. I'm uh I'm I'm looking ahead. No big deal. No one freak okay. out here. Don't look yeah. don't freak out. Okay, what's in my hand? What's in the food tray? Just a couple of worms, huh? I know, right? No one wants the worms. Those worms have been there for a while. But yeah, they have. And oh. uh Ben Osteen dropped Ben, I am a huge fan of Tenacious D. Um <gasps> yeah, they're, they're usually NSFW. But yeah, love love mm -hmm. Tenacious D. The Pick of Destiny is an underrated album, too. There's some really amazing songs on that I've album. seen that movie a ridiculous number of times. <laughs> nice. The Metal Confrontation, where they play against <laughs> Satan at the very end, played yeah. by Dave Grohl, is so good. Classic. Yeah, strong in the world. <laughs> so just a tribute. <laughs> That's how you get around anything. It's just right? a tribute. It's just a tribute, my friends. Uh, let's take a look at the board here of Becca. We are going to go to this mode, folks. And Becca's got the Black Vulture, Cassin's Finch, Peed Build, it's just... Reed, and the common. I can't even say these birds. Wow. Yeah, uh, my birds are esoteric. <laughs> <laughs> and down to party. All right, what am I doing? I hid my interface and I'm choosing a second type of food. Could be anything, but I love a good cherry blossom, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, I've done it. Nice. One turn left, friends. This is it. Um, so let's see. Game well, food, Terry, it was a uh, link to a photo of Paul Cramschuster, my high school religion teacher. <laughs> 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 and that's why they were <laughs> so surprised. <laughs> you know he's just a fine looking nice middle-aged man there's it's just it's just a very nice person <laughs> i hope no one clips this and sends it to him I mean, <laughs> my third grade teacher reminded me of dr pulaski but i didn't have a crush on her i just like well admired her. that's that's the mullet talking <laughs> ruel Yes. What, what are you done? doing? What did you do on your turn? Did you? Add I laid an eggs? eggs. I laid Come eggs. On, man. Yeah, Come on. I had to. You only laid one egg, though. How do you only lay one egg? I could only lay one egg on that turn because I was all maxed out. I had no. That's more how space. desperate you were to get eggs. You only put one down. Yeah, I only put one down. Ridiculous. Yes. You have oh, some. Yeah. Some, some nerve. nerve. The nerve. <sighs> if I lay eggs for a third time. You're gonna lay eggs again, Jake. I know that'd be, be insane. Failure. That'd be insane, right? That's is that worth the five points? You know, no, don't forget. You're not gonna win. <laughs> don't forget, you do get points at the end of the game for those eggs. One point per. Yeah, but the so. bird feeder's been refreshed, which is nice. You're welcome. Thank you, Becca. I appreciate that. Because I love worms. They're delicious. Because I love worms. I have <laughs> great taste in worms. Because I like worms. Um, well, hmm, I guess that means. Hello, Justin. Rat. Ugh. Gross. What is Tenacious D's song FHG? Uh, it, it's uh, something her gently. Yes. Ah. Yes. Befriend okay. her gently? No. Uh, I think that's that was correct. Yeah. <laughs> firm hand, firm gentle handshake. There it is. Or firm that's, handshake. That gently. does not fit with the acronym. Close. Firm handshake. Yeah. You can't firm. fool me. <laughs> oh, I didn't get one past old Becca. Mm, yeah. Too wise over here. So sharp. All right, my bad. I'm going to uh, sincerely go. Uh, we're going to lay eggs. We're going to do it. Come on. Yeah. Got, There's no got choice. To. Got to. Okay, well, get ready to waste your turn. Turn and wasted. <laughs> Turns a wasting. All right. And now, Becca, for the final turn of round two, folks. Thanks for hanging out. We are playing Wingspan, now available on Steam. This just came out like only a couple weeks ago, right, Ruel? That's correct. Yeah, I think a week or two ago. 
Hmm. How many dice are out of the tray right now? How many are there six total or five total? You can tell by the uh, dice icons up top. So there's one out of the tray right now. Yeah, there are five Ooh. dice total. Yes. Got it. Interesting. Okay, so I can tie with Jake for most eggs on my water birds to win the round two prize. But you know what? I think that will slow down your internet, so I wouldn't do that. It would slow down my yeah. internet. Yeah. Been known to do that. You don't want to risk that. Interesting <laughs> point there. It's a four-point differential. But I think, um, yeah, I think I, tying with you is not worth it. Do we take first and second and then split them? Correct. Is that how it works? Yeah. Rounded down. So seven, that's only three points. Uh, it would be, Jake's going to win this only because I don't do this move, but I'm going to play a bird. Oh, you're not going to go for the eggs. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, what? I was clicked on someone else. I was like, I picked up food last time, but it's yeah. not in my it inventory. Is, it is easy to be on someone else's view and be like, where'd all my birds go? Yeah. Where are yeah. my birds? I've done that too. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to win it. I'm not going to win it. So we're going to spend an egg from upon our common merganser. <laughs> Pass turn. Nice. Ooh, all right. Okay. So let's see what happens here. We are going uh, zero turns left. Click start turn. I gain one for the supply, really? What's going on over here? I'll take it. Okay. It didn't tell you. Why? Good. I don't know. Uh, so the second round goes to Jake. Wait, yeah. is it done? Yeah, we are here in the end of the second round, the scoring goals. Jake, you took first place with the most eggs in the wet Oh, one. yes. Becca was second. and Or no, I was second you and second. Becca was third. Mm -hmm. Okay. I so now we go. <laughs> yeah. Now we go to the third one, uh, third round, the eggs in the little nesting uh, icon. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Okay. And Jake will lead us off. And let's take a look. Jake has this one here, the nesting icon there. He has another nesting icon. He's got... Mm. Oh, oh, boy, folks. We're in this trouble. This guy. This guy. <laughs> Out of control. What are we going to yeah. do with him? Um, all right. So how are we going to play this? I think we're going to go to the old forest. Charity Board Gamer, thanks for joining us. Good to see you on here, my friend. He's... Uh, he was talking about how for his wedding, they were talking about wedding music uh, in chat. He and his wife walked down the aisle to the theme from Princess Bride. Aww. That is awesome. Do y'all see that celebrities? Uh, it was on Quibi. So I just watched the little preview that was on YouTube because I'm not going to download Quibi out of uh, protest of uh, such a silly platform. But uh, <laughs> 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 right, Quibi, if you're watching, please hire me. Um <clears throat> <laughs> There were a bunch of celebrities that, uh, you know, a ways into COVID quarantine, decided to remake Princess Bride, but uh, they each had a scene. And so um, they would be in different locations, but, you know, uh, Patton Oswalt would be doing the uh, switching of drinks. Ah, I can't possibly drink the one in front of me. And then another actor in a different location. I think it was John, John Hamm was acting against him in that role, but they were in separate locations and it was all filmed on iPhone because it was vertical for the silly platform. Uh, <laughs> it's very cool. Even just the, the promo oh, that's or the, cool. the clip. Yeah. Did they so because they switched to like full screen? Did they film it all in only vertical and ex like have? Their I didn't know they switched to full screen. So now I've yeah. gained back some respect. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I the aspect ratio is important to me. It's funny because Quibi like hires most of our friends right now. It's like one of the few companies that's keeping people employed. But it's is true. It? We're like Sorry. we don't know, but we don't like their business model. But we do want their business. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, we really shouldn't be saying this in a recordable format. <laughs> right? <laughs> but we'll never say anything like this again if you hire us. 
There we go. Just, Fixed it. Yeah. You know, Remember, you know, their new president's name is Paul Cramchester, right? <laughs> okay, you pronounced it wrong, but I love your sentiment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm. So now we are on Becca's turn. Jake, and can you please activate your cards and? Uh, it would be really helpful to me if you would do that. Just activate things. I just tried to, but the bird uh, had too large of a wingspan to eat, so I uh, vomited. Blame it, it on up. the bird. Yeah. <laughs> just need a bigger mouth, my friend. Uh, Hand hippo, thank you. I I appreciate your comment about my voice. Uh, have a cool voice for like selling stuff. Yeah, so feel free to uh, send me your things that you need sold, and I will take care of you. <laughs> Agreed. I believe that. I mean, I second this. Okay. I have not a not a single bird in my dry lands. What's the opposite of a wetland? Yeah, dry land. Mm -hmm. Dry land, yeah. It's like, is it Grasses. forest? Is it forest, grassland? Wetland? No. Well, there there is the woodlands. Woodlands. But then there's also the tall grasses area. It's it's a variation of land, right? So woodland, grassland, wetland, and wetland, grassland, yes. grassland. Yeah. Mm. There it is. Yeah, woodlands, grassland. It's just. <laughs> Grizzly Diz says the opposite of wetland is dry sky. That's very true. Very also, good. great hockey player. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Fountain of <laughs> Wayne, dry sky. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Gav, uh, 2020, that is my wife, Michelle, does confirm that Ruel's great at selling stuff when we have garage sales. What? Yeah. Tell us more. Does he yes. have Hawk and Adam saying, I, I am. get this bowl for only a dollar? I, I am known to do that. I also use, I, I pry people with food. So I'll buy like a dozen donut holes in the morning before a garage sale. And with every purchase, you get to select a donut hole. Wow, Wait, that's you'll good. You'll buy only 12 donut holes? Isn't that like a dollar worth of donut holes? Like, <laughs> that's your full budget? Is 12? <laughs> Times are tough, man. That's why I got to have a garage sale. Like, this is a garage very sale? big garage sale. I feel yeah. like it's more of a neighborhood activity, you know? That's how you meet your neighbors. <laughs> well, tell you what. When was the last time you went to a garage sale and got a free donut hole, Jake? You see? Uh, admittedly, I have, don't think I've ever gotten a free donut hole. That's okay. fair point. There that it is. is so sad. It probably would entice me to purchase more. I, I guess I agree. Thank you. It works every time. Plus, I make my little uh, post-it notes, and I put them on the items. It'll say, like, wow, or what a deal. And <laughs> it totally works. Michelle will What's What's funny this. about it is it 100% works. But when you think yeah. about it for more than a second, you realize, oh, the owner of this item put on a sticky note that says, wow. <laughs> that is the extent of what has happened here. It's not like yeah. some anonymous reviewer is like, oh, this is good. I should let other people know about it. <laughs> oh my gosh I, yeah <laughs> when i was in high school i would go to uh the grocery store and get day-old donuts for one dollar you could get a dozen day-old donuts for a dollar and i'd go back to school and uh because i do it during lunch and i go back to school and sell each donut for a dollar i thought you were wow. gonna say you bought your friends Donuts. No, no, no. It's all a business opportunity, friends. Becca. I see. Wow. I see. That would be the correct and better answer and the more altruistic <laughs> answer. No, Jake, I was going to make yeah. fun of you for having to buy your friends with donuts. So, actually, I like <laughs> oh, how I got my version. friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you got me. No, I respect it more. Yeah. <laughs> it's more ruthless that way. <laughs> I'm listening to Trevor Noah's book, Born a Crime, and it's excellent. It's hilarious. So good. Yeah, uh, yeah you, you've read it or listened to it? Both, actually. I read Aww. it, and then uh, two years ago, Michelle and I took a road trip, and we listened to it on the way on a road Good trip. Good choice, because he does yeah. it himself. Yeah. And he's so charming and funny. Yeah. Um, And in, when he was in essentially high school, there was, like, a, a shop, and he would he would run to the front of the line uh, and, like, buy up food uh, on behalf of people and made a commission. He just started, like, hustling and... Uh, it's very interesting hearing about his hustling days. Yeah. <laughs> Selling uh, car speakers in exchange for Nike shoes. and <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, anything to survive, you know, and yeah, it's, it's such a good book. Yeah. It's so good. Dude, where he's come from compared to where he's at is such an amazing idea. Like, it's crazy. It's a great story. 
truth. Uh, I'm going to go visit the wetlands real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> well done. Well <laughs> done. Okay. Ooh. Uh, that's Becca's turn. What is? Ooh, she's got a... We have a blue crow. I may, maybe I'm working too hard in the grasslands. The forest oh. lands? I'm not going to remember. Woodlands! Woodlands. Wow. Click the start turn. Like the Woodland so Alliance. Turn. There we so are. So I gain one for the supply. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, and then I'm going to play this one. Um, I want to play one here. Is this the wetlands or the grassland? Let's go in the grassland. Um, I'm going to pay two worms to play Bell's Virio. Ooh. And one played, uh, click on any bird. So I got to do an egg. And then I get to choose. Oh, I get to choose a new bonus card. Okay. Um, I guess I'll go with. Ooh. Okay. Birds You're up to five animal. birds. Okay. It's pretty I'll good. Go, I'll go with what this one here. Okay. And that is the end of my turn. All right. If you want to activate that one with the skull and crossbones, I wouldn't be upset. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Noted. Okay, cool. All right. Jake, it's your turn. I both played birds. Well done. Well done. Wow, you're paying. Oh, I see. It updates you. I was going to say, you paid you. very close attention. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't take that good of credit. <laughs> Lord of the board knows their games. Lord of the board. Oh. Okay. I love that people are dropping airplane quotes in there. Give me a vector, Victor. And <laughs> I'm kind of scared to see if that call, uh, holds up, but I always use an opportunity to tell someone not to call me Shirley. <laughs> yeah. It, I, I, Michelle and I watched it recently, and it holds up, but there are definitely things like, ooh, you couldn't get away with this. this yeah. You're about to dive. <laughs> yeah. I speak jive. Yeah, that okay. seems like, oh my gosh, so bad. Uh, Battle scene, yes. Police Squad, another great one by the same oh, team. Police right? Squad. Police oh. Squad. Oh. I've never seen it. I don't know anything police about squad's it. Police Squad's pretty great. Oh, Blue Five so Blue Made Airplane? Yes. It was a television well, series. Police Squad was a six episode television series before yes. it got canceled. And then they later made them into movies called The Naked Gun. Oh, I know Naked Gun. Yeah. yeah, Police Squad. There's there's a lot of similar jokes in there. I would watch Police Squad if I were you. One of my favorite bits of that. If I is were you. In one of the yeah. uh, in the old TV shows, you know how they would uh, at when the end credits would roll, they would have like a freeze frame of everybody kind of like laughing. Mm -hmm. In Police Squad, those the actors would physically freeze, and then the credits would roll. But like the criminal who is like standing in the station would be like, and then they'd like slowly like try and get away while the cops were just frozen. <laughs> smiling. So Perfect. funny. Yes. Uh, okay, it I'm. Jake's turn. It's totally Jake's turn. Uh, we're going to go. Man, I want to play a bird. I'm so jealous of all your bird playing. Hmm. Well, you've got five out there, my friend. Yeah, I know. I got plenty. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Now, uh, let's see. It's the number of eggs on that. Oh, no, Jake. What Jake did, made an error done? in a previous turn. What a what fool. Really? What a fool. Yes. Hey. Really? This made That's what I like about a, a smooth interface. <laughs> you can't have uh, your friends pity you and let you have a take back. <laughs> no, no. Because no, I'm no, ruthless. <laughs> That's so true. It's so true. You know, I'll agree to it. I'll agree everybody gets one mulligan, but I don't like it. No, I understand. It only works in Twilight Imperium, I think. <laughs> okay, in this case, we are going to go... Man, I hate this choice. You can use two of a one resource to act as another. Is that true? That is correct. Sounds fair. <laughs> Sounds like a house <laughs> rule will, will implement. While people are talking in chat about a movie called Spies Like Us, that is a movie I have not seen in a long time. That is an old I movie. can't imagine that holds up, does it? Dan Aykroyd yeah. and John Candy? And is that right? John, Dan Aykroyd and... 
I think it's John Chevy Ke- Chase. Oh, Chevy, Chevy Chase. Chase. Yeah. Uh, Lord of the Board. Yes, I stream this. Had some troubles keeping track of point. Uh, absolutely. Yep. Um, so I have it, somehow uh, switched my view to trivia, where instead of showing me their abilities, I see their trivia. Oh, how, how the when hell? You click the... on the uh, the board view. There's a little tab on the left. I got it. That's so strange. This one here. <laughs> I I think it makes sense. They want to feature all the artwork, but not have the text be too yeah, small. I understand. Font. I get yep. it. I get it. All right, I've I've laid eggs. I'm sorry for the long turn. No problem. How many times can people say doctor in chat? Is that the game? <laughs> uh, that's from the movie Spies Like Us. Doctor, 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 doctor. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Doctor. I've seen that scene. Yeah. Doctor. Doctor. Oh, and someone <laughs> said, uh, yeah. Thank you, Cherry Boy. So you can click right click and you'll get the trivia for the bird. Right click uh, again, goes back to the power. You know what's a great riff on the doctor scene is oh it's my turn. Uh in in Jojo Rabbit. <laughs> they have to oh. say Heil Hitler each time they meet someone new. Uh it's a farce. It is very anti-Nazi for anyone who hasn't seen it. Uh, and when someone enters the room that is a Nazi, they all must say Heil Hitler to each of each other. Oh my gosh. Individually. Yeah. They I'm also say it that. like with varying amounts of like cheeriness too. It's like kind of a good morning and it's very yeah. cute for <laughs> such like a dark idea. Oh my gosh. <laughs> cute. Get out. <laughs> you didn't think those kids were cute? They were very cute. The sweet little German kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That cute. was a great movie for sure. That was one of the better ones of the last two years I've seen for sure. That's really, really up there oh, yeah. for me. Yeah, I've not really seen good. it. It's brilliant. Was- was it's, it better than Into the Spider Verse? I mean, Into the Spider Verse yeah. was like just kind of mind blowing on its own, right? And like, I love, I'm a pretty big Spider Man fan, and so the movies have always been kind of hit or miss for various reasons. And I didn't expect, I guess I didn't expect it to be my favorite Spider Man film. It was right. a comic book movie in a whole new way because yeah. they took yes. a sort of comic style animation to the extreme. Yep. Yeah, the was- Jojo that- Rabbit Marvel. is Taika Watiti is an incredible director. I love all of his films and Jojo Rabbit is definitely his most extreme and risky. And I think is best. I think like spider verse and uh, Lego movie both did things with animation that like kind of revolutionized animation. Oh, so like for me, those were kind of like game changers. Yeah. Spider verse. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jake, it's your turn by the way. Um, Thank you. Spider Verse, like totally again, one of those movies. Just like uh, it was like Goodwill Hunting, it just hit me right here. Yeah, right here. You know, uh, so good. Right. What what animated film makes you weep with the beauty of it all? Right. <laughs> just oh, draw, drop the whole time, and then you yeah. really need to drink water at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not your fault. It's not. It's your not fault. your fault. Stop it, Ruel! Don't make me cry on stream. <laughs> Really, uh, Robin Williams' best work. Yeah, yeah, by far. Gosh, okay, I'm, I, I want to go watch it tonight. <laughs> right, it's got to be on Netflix or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, Ben. Uh, ben Osteen says there are so many, uh, so many innovative details in Spider Verse. Yes, there are. Yeah, some, the details. Right? I mean, the, all the work that There's... went into every freaking scene. Like there were some amazing, there were some amazing shots with a insane amount of detail that lasted for two seconds. It's like, yeah. what? Yeah. Ah, mind blowing. Yeah, and it was really cool to have Marvel have a main character that's black and Latino. Yes. Oh yeah, her, yeah. the representation across the board on huge, that. huge. Love it. Miles Sorry, Morales. I'm discarding a card to gain an extra. So when I try to gain another food from the bird feeder, if the bird feeder is empty, I just hit the reroll button, right? Yep. You sure do. Then it gives me a bunch of these. And then I take. I had an ability to check a card and tuck it with my great horned owl. And uh, I'm, I'm guessing that I drew the wrong size of, of, creature that i couldn't eat because i don't seem to have one under there as far as i can yeah. tell yeah there's like a size limitation because you can only eat like a bird that's smaller than you basically 
You haven't seen me eat. <laughs> it's birds, Becca, not burritos. <laughs> uh oh, Becca. I just ate a Lazuzzi bunting. Oh. And guess what? You get your vulture ability. Thank you get stuff. You. Ooh, one die from the bird feeder. Yay! Nice. Oh, gosh. What's it going to be? I don't want oh, any of this. Oh, damn. Lord, uh, Lord of the Board just shared an interesting tidbit. After watching into the Spider-Verse, I noticed something for the first time. As Miles gets more comfortable with his powers, he increases in frame rate. Peter Parker starts off at a higher frame rate to show he's more experienced in his role. Whoa. That's, really? that's pretty nuts. And I that's believe crazy. that. Wow. Ooh, okay. Wow. Okay. I sure do like this game. Like this is a yeah. game uh, that I came into with no expectations, but had heard it was good, but I was like kind of okay with the bird theme, but th all three times I've played it, I've very much enjoyed it. Yes. I was, I remember hearing about this game. Uh, Stonemeyer had talked about it, you know, when, right before it came out and I had no interest in it, you know, birds. Same. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Whatever. Yep. And thanks to our friend, my friend Ben Osteen in chat, actually, I played this with him at strategic on, he taught it and I was blown away. I thought it was such a great game. And, I, you've seen it in person, like the components are just beautiful. It's got, I mean, it's got a bird feeder for a dice tower. I mean, <laughs> so cute. Yeah, I've eight. never played it physically. I've only played it digitally, actually. I was also oh, skeptical okay. after hearing about what a huge deal Wingspan was. <laughs> and then you right? play it and you're like, oh, absolutely. There's so much, many layers of strategy. Yep. Agreed. Um, oh, is it my turn? No, that was her. Oh, sorry. I'm just like trying to uh, metagame and look at people's scores. And here we go. <laughs> is there a way to look at scores? Yes. If you're clicking on someone and then you go to the end of round counter, I think it says at the bottom. Uh, let me see. Oh, what? So if I click on Jake, he's got this. Okay. What, what do I press? This is Becca's. I think you can only count on yourself. Amen. Here's me. Maybe so. Yeah. Right? You can't count other people. I don't think so. Yeah, not other. Yeah, you'll see your... Um, thanks, Chris. Uh, Charity Board Gamer says you can see your score at the end of the round counter. But only your score. Correct. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Party on. Party on, Garth. Party on, Garth. Okay, so three turns left in this round. Um, so Jake has gained food. And, oh, Becca's played a bird. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Becca's played a bird. What? Oh, my old what? indigo bunting. Oh, my gosh. Okay. What am I going to do here? For a second. Goodwill indigo bunting. Let me go. <laughs> that bird would blow Matt Damon out of the water. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I do this? I think I can. Let's go here. I'm going to grab this bird and this bird. Go here. Mm -hmm. house. A... And that's my turn. I've drawn two new birds. Uh, so we'll go to Jake. Hold on. Since when can you reply? Did Twitch in implement this today? No, it's been around for a little while. What happened? You can reply in comments. I'm actually embarrassed. Oh. I mean, it's, I, it, know. I think it's somewhat new. I've only seen it like maybe a couple, like maybe a couple weeks, maybe longer. Where have I been? <sighs> At uh, home? Oof. That's oh, true. it's not enabled everywhere. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Wild. Hmm. Hmm. I have been watching my chat when I stream from within a window in my open broadcasting system. System. OBS, that one? Oh. I didn't want yeah. to say OBS because a little inside baseball lingo. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not yeah. every stream has it. Oh, really? I huh. hate not being in a beta program. <laughs> I don't care what it is. I want to be in the beta test. I think we're going to grab the old loggerhead Shrike. You would. Oh, the Shrike. The old Shrike. That's Shrike one. <laughs> you totally beat me to the punch. Beat me to well, the punch. don't encourage her. Oh, we have. Oh, to <laughs> oh. Um, well, it's rude of me to take the dad jokes. It's rude. Uh, there's my friend uh, Trio Power. Thank you. Did we all lose yet? No, you are early, my friend. I have not lost yet, but thank you. Oh no, <laughs> because you are an honorable host. I'm sure. Yes, that's right. Nothing. But it's honor. funny. All of all of my chat is like, "Did Becca win yet?" And then all of your chat is, "Did you lose yet?" <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. Okay. So okay. Becca has what do you have out here? Oh my gosh, Becca has four, it. five, six, seven birds. I know, right? Oh it's man, oh fine. man. It's oh. fine. Oh my gosh. Well you got oh look at this. Bird. So you don't gain food. Excuse me, you don't gain points for for resources that are in your personal tray, only ones that are on your cards, huh? Correct. The resources that are just that you have at the end of the game, they're used as a tiebreaker if you. Mm -hmm, if you must. Mm -hmm. Oh, this yeah. is sad. I should have looked yeah. at the bird feeder. Okay. Well, whatever. I can gain a worm or a cherry from the bird feeder if there is one, but there sure wasn't. Sad day. Okay. Two turns left. Oh, boy. Um, can I play this one? Oh, darn it. I can't. Thought I had a fish. Thought I had a fish. I don't have a fish. Uh, I'm going to play uh, this bird here. Becca, you're laying oh, eggs. This round has gone so fast. I forget we lose cubes every round, too, so you get less yeah. actions. Oh, that's right. you know, I love a game that speeds up. Yeah, well, I mean, yes, yeah, that, so that, that is a better power. It is a better way of doing it, yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> So the designer, Elizabeth Hargrave, she has a new game out called uh, Mariposas that just came out. And it's actually the reverse. You start with four actions and you build up to, I think, eight actions. Mm. I saw this game demoed at Gen Con over a year ago. Yes. And I think that they were having uh, like a Kickstarter snafu because you can only have a certain number of Kickstarters from a certain brand at the same time. And they like didn't oh. realize this mistake. And Mariposas had, it came out slower because of that, I think. I could oh. be making up trivia, but this is my understanding. <laughs> <laughs> but it's absolutely gorgeous, right? It's butterflies, yes. and they're all Butter like three dimensional. Yeah, you have butterfly meeples. I mean, they they're gorgeous, and it's a fun game. It's it's lighter than Wingspan, but it's got that same like, hey, you do one thing on your turn, and you slowly build to you know the end of the round. There it makes and sense, <laughs> though. You don't want to make. I, I mean, I imagine when I design games, <laughs> uh, you won't want them all to be the same level of complexity because. You're going to want to make something for everyone. It's like, ah, oh, I made my game for this type of gamer. And now I want to make my game for this type of gamer. Absolutely. Yeah. Mariposas is one I would introduce to someone that's never played games before. Whereas Wingspan, I would tend to introduce it to someone that's played a few modern board games uh, Jake, before. Yes, Speaking Becca. of playing board games before, <laughs> what are you doing? I am wasting just your growing turns. my reserve. Oh, what did Jake do? Oh my! Oh wait, it's Becca's he's, turn. He's trying to beat I, me at egg laying. <laughs> oh my gosh! Really? Can and I just? Jack I just want that quote by itself with the indignant <laughs> tone that it came with it. He is Jake's trying, trying to, beat to beat me beat at me. egg laying. Egg laying. <laughs> I'm not happy at, about this. Hashtag womb be. envy. <laughs> hashtag <laughs> <womb> envy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my uh, god. A coin I a term I've definitely coined. Okay. Yes. Well, you know what? I give up because I literally don't have enough room in my womb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do you call a bird? Room in your uh, nest. Like nest. of all the places. <laughs> Cloaca? <laughs> no, absolutely now that is a all that's purpose, an anatomical term, Paul. so of course you're safe. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> If it can be said in a Richard Attenborough documentary, you're good. 
You're good. <laughs> Rich- or David, David Attenborough. Attenborough. Richard David. is uh, Richard owns the island Brother. with the dinosaurs, right? Right. <laughs> Ah. I am just at square zero. I was really just trying to get that egg prize for the end of round bonus. And now I have no food. And let's see what is available in the, in the bird feeder. Looks like a fish and a rat. Ha, yes. And if I wanted to get a new bird. Uh, ben says, uh, David Attenborough could say the rudest words and still would sound jolly and pleasant. That is very true. I agree. Okay, I'm having trouble determining one symbol on cards. Oh, what is it? I'm looking for the symbol of like a bird with its wings in flight. What does that mean? It's Birds. a bird card, like it's bird cards. Oh, just total bird cards. Yes. I think total so. Total bird cards. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Is it the symbol that's similar up to the very, very top right, which says total yeah. bird cards? This one right Excellent. here. Excellent. New plan. Think... New plan. New plan. New plan. Old new plan. plan. Don't worry about it. No plans. No, tell me new plan. Yeah. Don't troll me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Becca, just so you know, you have 23 hours and 56 minutes remaining until you're out of time. <laughs> we'll finish my turn? Oh, thank you. I see that now. Mm -hmm. I'm rolling dice, y'all. Oh, my gosh. No fish, as I had hoped. Oh. Mm. I don't think none of us have gotten our little roll the dice power. I've I've gotten it like uh, I think I got it like once. I haven't gotten it for the fish one actually. Now that I think about it. No, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, because I have a rat one. I haven't gotten any. Rats yeah, no, yet. I guess I haven't either. Yeah. Just just peeking around, looking at some stuff. Okay, interesting, interesting. Uh huh. I'm going to make a decision here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's funny how for years I've heard you talk through your stalling process, which is you just kind of describing that you will be day, doing right? something. <laughs> but it always, it fools me every time, it, which is kind of remarkable. I'm like, oh, she actually is going. Wait, no, no, she's not. <laughs> no, she's no. still not going. <laughs> she's filling time again. She's still filling time. <laughs> it still, still gets me. Good. That's good. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, if our if our, our business relationship Yeah, if our done. relationship got stale, that'd be a real problem. <laughs> really gotta break up this company. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, there it is. One turn left. One turn left. The, what is Jake, Ruel gonna do? Jake leg laid eggs. Becca drew cards. Um where's And then how many blocks are we down to in the fourth round? Four? Uh, oh gosh, that's four so few. Or five. Yeah, it's five. not many. It's four or five. Ooh. We um, start with eight, seven, six, five. Okay. Okay. Gosh, do I? Okay, I do have two eggs there. Where do you find this information? Um, I'm just looking at the eggs on my cards. Oh, I just meant how many cubes are in a round? Oh, that I don't know. You Someone know, in chat will let us know. The better an interface is, the more it hides the rules from you. What was your question, Becca? All you gotta do is this one thing, and then this thing. Or you could do this thing, but one at a time. <laughs> What's your question, Becca? How did you know we're only gonna have five cubes next round? I did the math because I think we started with eight in the first round, right? And so if this we could lose- all be nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> if we oh, lose- God. If we lose one every round, that means the second round was seven, the third round was six, and therefore the last round will be five. If I did my math right. Your math oh, of I... doing eight minus four? Yes. <laughs> oh, end of the round, folks. Three. But if we started with eight is really the question. Eight minus three. Big math. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I bonked Thank you for your support, Becca. <laughs> Wow. Wow. You never said that to me unironically. <laughs> <laughs>
So here's the end of the round scoring, folks. Jake, once again, takes first place for six points. Becca in second with three, and uh, I also played this round. Um, we will, <laughs> the final round, we are looking at the But the difference between three and two, sorry to interrupt. Right. I mean, you know. It's negligible. Not bad. You, you yeah. actually optimized I, your move more. Thank you. I got the participation trophy for that round. Um, round four, we are looking for the no total number of birds played. And as you see here on the screen, Becca has seven played, and Jake and I both have six played. Maybe you guys mm. go for a different goal. This is fine. <laughs> what other goal should we go for? Right? I don't know. <laughs> Bird Figure piece? It out. It's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> getting birds um, is my getting thing. Getting air is my thing. <laughs> Uh, all right, so, so Becca's Beckle, first Beckles, Beckle lead. Ooh, Beckle? I like Beckles yeah. as a nickname. Beckles. Really? Like Freckles. I've never uh, been called it before, but you just almost called it me that, mm. and I liked it. So there we go. <laughs> Let's go with it. Beckles. Beckles. Uh-oh. I think my AirPods are going to die, folks. Uh-oh. I thought, Thanks wait, you switch you. headphones again? No, while I'm on the AirPods now, I, the, the headphones didn't work. Oh. So we will continue as far as we can. I Question, if it says to... gain a worm from the supply, do I get to gain that whether or not it's available? From the supply, yes. It's, uh, it's just straight from the supply. It doesn't have anything to do with the bird feeder. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're getting a reroll. Bow. Bow, bow. Okay, for my next bird food. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna go worm town and I, because it could be an either or and I wanna take away that option. Yeah, go worm town. For nice. rudeness. Let's see. Ben says there's a pastry from the UK called Eccles Cake. Beckles Eccles Cakes. Delicious. That's what I'll call my cake shop. There it is. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Ooh, I'm flipping a card. <gasps> okay, so pretty sure that time when I was like, I don't know if I got to see a card and whether or not it was under a certain size, I might have accidentally skipped my turn. It no. would have given you a warning that says, do you want to skip? Yeah. Here's the thing about warnings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You have warning that. blindness, which is actually <laughs> diagnosable now where you just click through those, right? Yeah, it's called a cl cl click addiction. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not call it that. Let's call yeah. it warning blindness. Yeah. Just for safety. <laughs> I don't know if click addiction is a uh, PG-13 uh, term. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's my turn. I've seen laid eggs, gain food. So we have five actions this turn. Oh, my goodness. Uh, friends, it's not looking good for your boy Ruel here. Let's see. I'm going to go. Looking so good. Your birds are beautiful. I don't know. Don't let any point system tell you otherwise, Ruel. Okay, you know what? You're right. I love my birds. Um, this one's going to go here. Let's play this. Oh. Hey, come on, bird. There it is. going to pay this. Uh, discard one. Oh, yoy, yoy. Well, I can okay. tell you this. I'm really not going for my in-game cards. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, yeah. We got two. We, don't, we only have one. Oh, good. You're lucky you get two. Yeah, I'm in big trouble okay. when it comes to those. Okay. Don't tell me to be grateful. It makes me less grateful. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, who is that? You're quoting Gandhi? Who said that? Yeah, I believe it was. Yeah, that was Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Don't tell me to be grateful. Alan Watts, I'll be actually. less grateful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Games of Fire, Lama. thanks for joining us. Have a great night. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> uh, let's just assume I win. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, you know, if he's going to take away, someone did well. Yeah. It's going to be Jake. Who are we kidding? <laughs> uh, we're going to we're going to put down the old American coot. Uh, wow. Well, okay. 
Don't put her down. Let her live a natural life. <laughs> You're the best. We're um, trying our best to keep it. Friendly. I love it. We're trying our okay. -ish. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you got the best signs. Thanks. It inspires me to. Yeah, Ruel, what I love about it is like it's not a digital graphic that comes up or a banner. It's a physically made sign. Like your snacks thing is hilarious. I love Thank that you. stream. Snacks. That's, that's, that's a shout and out to me. Michelle is so correct. Yeah, the helmet too. She did that. You know, I got to speak of the helmet. So this helmet, it is made of a manila folder and duct tape. <laughs> I, I'm serious. That's it's incredible. manila. Yeah, Michelle just she looked it up on Pinterest and just within like an hour had it done. I was like, That's "What?" So impressive, Michelle. Michelle, she had to do her own craft show. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Totally. I've got more, but I'll, I'll save those for later. But yeah, you know what it is. I uh, I want to take credit for it, but it was Michelle. She made all these signs because I didn't know how to do all the cool effects on Twitch. I'm like uh, I'm like clicking buttons, nothing's happening. And she just made signs like, "Oh, I can hold that up a lot quicker than." Can it makes you stand out more because you're just Thank like you. adorable. Bingo. I love it. Thank Me too. You. Um, it is. Oh, it's Becca's turn. Okay. No, she has passed. Oh, she passed. Passed. Okay. Passed. Just passed a turn. Really? Not going to do anything. Pass. I have finished my turn. Oh. She did something. So I gain a worm. And then I am going to. Let's play a bird, shall we? Let's play a bird, shall we? Well, the bird. We're going to play the trumpeter swan. Uh, it costs a bunch of food. I'm paying the food. I got to click on an egg to pay for that. Oh, I got to play two eggs. What? All right. Yeah. Then. That's how egg you want to roll. USA. Yeah. Egg town. Okay. Take, take that egg town. Okay. Three more turns. I've really got to plan stuff out. Uh, so it's Jake's turn now. Yeah. Okay. Y'all were supposed to go gain some resources. No, nobody did. Nobody wanted to gain food. <laughs> no. We're not interested. <sighs> What's a guy got to do? Yeah, I'm still full from the burrito. So, <laughs> uh, Lord of the Board asks Jake Becker Ruel. Any of you have any tips for streaming? Just practice. Just do it. Yep. Just do it. You can only get better by trial and error. It's one of those things where I still make huge tech errors all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I would say don't be too precious with it. Much as Becca just said, like it's it's kind of a free form thing. Like, look at this stream is going extremely well, I think, Ruel. And like you really struggled in the beginning to get everything oh. working, right? Yeah, and I was just going to bring that up. This The start of it was just a mess. but Yeah, then, it's like from your perspective, it was yeah. a disaster. But from everybody else's perspective, we couldn't hear you for 30 seconds, and then everything has been pleasant and fine beyond that. Yeah. But the anxiety yeah, that comes honestly, up in the beginning. I mean, and also Ruel is absolutely charming when he's trying to figure yeah, out how true. to make his earbuds work, and I can watch <laughs> him do that all day. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get it, Ruel! It's funny because during the whole thing, Beck and I were backstage and we couldn't see each other, but we were both probably we're cheering them on the whole time. We were dancing, yeah. Nice. So yeah, just just have fun with it. Have a good time. Yeah, absolutely. And Ruel and I are less experienced at it than Becca. Becca's been doing it for a long time. And yeah. Ruel and I are still very new to it, but we just yep. kind of leapt in and went for it. That's correct. Man, I hate my options. You guys have done some good choices here. Um what do you have? Let's take a look at Jake's board. Jake has two, four, six. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, I can't get are you Jake. are you gonna gain food? Let's see. You don't have food. You have three worms. If you I don't know if I want to give you strategy tips. Yeah, if I take the cherry, I can re-roll the wheat. Is that what you were gonna That's say? Right. Yeah. I was thinking about that. Take the cherry. Real I Louis. don't That's think a, I. The Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh, I love The Godfather, by the way. I figured you did because you said Goodfellas. Yeah, and they're pretty much the same movie. Pretty, I mean, they're yeah, different time, different eras, but very similar. Same cinematic oh. universe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> same That's right. Don Corleone and uh, what's his name? I forget the other character's name. Joe Pesci. Uh, Joe Pesci. Yeah. That, <laughs> You know what is an excellent movie with Joe Pesci that is my mom's favorite movie? Uh, no, I what? Remember. 
my cousin Vinny. Yes, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the name would come, you know, and it just didn't. And there. <laughs> we just we just watched that for the first time uh, really? like two months ago. Oh, how does it uh, hold up? I, I, it I'm does curious, hold up. Here's okay. why you chose that. Because we had never seen it. It was it was like a it was a movie that Tomei she won an Academy Award for that role, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, somehow Katie and I had never seen it. And every Sunday we try to do a movie at least one of us has never seen. And that oh, was one that neither cool. of us had seen. That's right. good. I like that. You know, there's that there's that urban legend that she didn't actually win that award. Have you heard of that? No. Like the the actor who presented it was Jack uh, Jack Palance, the old uh, actor, like cowboy actor. Yeah. And the, the whole thing was that he actually read the wrong name and then but she, they gave it to her. That's the urban legend, but... I mean, I believe. Thank it's God they didn't do that for Moonlight. Let me tell you. Right. <laughs> oh man, wow. that was one of the craziest things I've ever seen on television. Yeah, right? same here. That was it was so shocking. It, you know, it's the type I mean, of thing. I was very that, gratified when they corrected themselves because right. I yeah. hated La La Land. So, oh, so I will say, it's if not you want, that easy if, to get auditions. She had so many <laughs> auditions. <laughs> Here's what uh, I'll say. The room is ha- more than half the battle. <laughs> to, to Lord of the Board, for your, if you ever get nervous about streaming, just realize it could be worse. You could announce that La La Land won the best picture. <laughs> so right, anything yes. that goes wrong won't be as bad as that. So you'll find- <laughs> and, you know, get a friend to uh, hop on Discord and then screen capture them or something. Mm-hmm. And then you don't have to work so hard. It is hard at first to like talk to yourself that loud essentially Yeah. until you feel really comfortable talking to your chat or there are more people in your chat. So if you're just playing with a friend, it's like a nice way to ease yourself into it. And or StreamYard is very easy to use. Becca and Ruel, you didn't grab resources again? No. We're trying to win the game, Jake. (laughs) It's it's, it's, it's egg laying time. It's egg laying time. She played a blue winged warbler? You laid eggs? Ah! <laughs> oh, this is disastrous. Yeah, I All think, right. what, you're, I think yeah. what you're saying about like having a friend on stream definitely helps, you know, because it, it's it can be tough just talking to a camera, right? But if you have a friend, it's it feels a lot more natural you're just talking to a friend playing games. So I would I would second that as well. Okay, it's getting serious here, folks. Jake's got one, two, three. Uh, I was gonna say about my cousin Vinny, my little sister. She she's not an actor; she's an artist. Um, but she, well, she did study a, like a little bit of acting, and the monologue she memorized and can still perform for you to this day is the one where Marissa Tomei. Oh, sorry, it's my turn. Uh, Marissa Tomei talks about why hunting is horrible. It's like imagine you a baby deer, you're going down to the water, dip your lips into the cool, cool water. Just to get a little sip, bam! A hunter shoots you right between the eyes. But it's like a whole thing. She's oh my gosh, that's a great monologue. Yeah. Wow. Did you just do it right now, Becca? Was that the entire monologue? It's pretty close. No, it's longer. Fantastic. It's longer, oh, okay. but that that was she the right it vibe. Word for word, it's pretty great. Oh, okay. I'm choosing. Wow, Jake, you really set what? me up for the win. Thank you. Did I? No. What I do? Oh. Did I give you something? Oh no! I your black your vulture happened. Huh? My vulture, oh. but not only that, uh, <laughs> you um, you rolled the dice, and so uh, ah, well, uh, I, I needed to. I needed you to, so that's good. Oh mm-hmm. no! I didn't want to set you up for the win. The worst. It just so wow. happened. <laughs> Becca's got it was a lot not of scheming, birds. but when I looked at the okay. things, well, that just worked out. Two turns left, folks. Wow. Uh, game oh, yeah. Becca's played another bird. Okay. I remember how the monologue ends. It's like, are you really going to care how uh, what kind of pants the B word who shot you was wearing? It's pretty good. <laughs> a lot of cursing in it. So I uh, the B word. It's made significantly it. shorter as a monologue when you remove all the curse words. But great performance. 
Uh oh, I can't hear y'all. My they fell oh, asleep. No. Let me see if I can get this back up here. Um, come on, headphones, please work, please work. Microphone, no good. I was charging this one too. The other one I had. Okay, I think I can hear. Jake, why'd you say don't you date? Oh, there. Hi. Hey. Oh, I meant date. don't you dare. I'm oh, back. okay. <laughs> like, let them date if they want to date. Don't you date. No one hook not up in chat. Not their father. <laughs> you are not allowed to see her. Is there dating going on in chat? What the heck? Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Um, so you can date, turn. but you can only uh, slow dance if there's space between. You can hold hands. Yep, leave room for the Holy Spirit, friends. Uh oh. Um, uh oh. Let me see. I'm damaging things in my office. <laughs> oh, gosh, we only got two turns, folks. This is not good. This is okay. not good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to click first. I'm going to lay some eggs. One, two, three. That goes there. Roll. Come on. Hey, I finally got a rat. Congrats. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Congrats. Congrats. Congrats to me. Uh, now it is. Um, I just laid some eggs, so it is your turn, my friend. Oh, gosh. Okay. Eggs, eggs, eggs. <gasps> <laughs> Look at Becca's board, folks. We've got one, two, three, four. Oh, my gosh. Final turn, eh? No. Yes. All right. right. Well, yeah. I have locked the most bird cards because with one turn... Well, maybe wait. there's some special ability, but I don't think y'all can catch up in two. Wait, town. I have two. And do you guys uh, have one cube left? I, I have, have one. Two I think oh. did I go first? Is I think that's what it is. I went first, Becca, and then you, and then we'll get one more final turn. Oh, right? Becca's on two turns. Okay. So Correct. Becca, you've okay, I got it. I have one cube left. After this turn, correct? Wait, are Becca, are you the antler or are you the bird? I'm antlers. Antlers. So I think I was first this turn, and this oh, okay. is my last. This will be it. This I feel like it skipped. I'm confused. I'm so do confused I have, too. It does affect what I do next. Well, you're 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 halfway through your turn right now. You've already placed your cube, right? No. No. She, so, so why do you? Why does she only have one left? Uh oh. Is this is is this Becca or is this me? Let me look on. I have two cubes left. Sorry, Jake has two cubes. Becca has one cube left. Right, so Becca, have you used your cube? Sorry, I was uh, using yeah. a special ability in between. Oh, oh. that's what was happening. I was like, why is it not my we turn? We were all extremely confused. Uh, okay, yeah, I, no, get it, I get it, I get it. Okay. Wow. I understand now. Okay. okay. Um, I'm going to play a black skimmer. Okay. okay, so let's take a look at Jake's board here, friends. Jake's board. At least me with one of those. Okay. Yeah. Click on any maximum strategy. Oh, Ruel's gonna win. He's got twelve eggs. Yeah, but I'm you. Y'all crushed me on the goals, the round goals. So that's there's a lot of points out there. Uh. Like you're for, definitely for getting... first place. Yeah, you're I you're think, definitely getting. I think the, the I'm gonna third. get uh, a a close third. Okay, well, birds? I think the way to optimize my final turn is going to be to get some eggs because you just lay them for final points. Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah. Maybe. Each. Well, because I I can't lay down my last bird in hand. Uh, so we'll just lay some eggs. <sighs> Just checking to see if I have any birds with end game. It matters if it has eggs on it kind of thing. But I don't think mm. they have, there are any, or at least I don't have them. Okay. It don't matter. Lay those eggs. Lay those <gasps> eggs. Oh, Lay those I, can, eggs. I can pay any color of food in order to... Lay more eggs. eggs. That's right. It's time for everybody's favorite family game show, Lay That Egg. <laughs> Except for those of you with womb envy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Truth. 
Truth hurts. I used to suffer from womb envy. Yep. My neighbor's womb was a two bath, two bedroom. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, oh my, my God, final my ten. Invent a womb. <laughs> invent a womb. <laughs> you know, a womb. What would you call a, a fake uh, womb that you sell on QVC? Attach a womb. Attach uh, a womb or the Wombmatic 5000. The double wide womb. Uh, double. Double womby. Womb double for one wombie? more. Womb. Womb for one more. Okay, womb for one more. Womb for one you more. You guys don't womb? like double woomy? Womb for went. <laughs> I like double womb. woomy. I like womb for went. Womb for went. Okay, so I'm okay. taking the final turn. Last this turn. This is it, folks. This is it. I think we're going to lay oh, some so eggs. One more egg. All right. All right. Big sport here, folks. What? Is the end game Becca with 10? Nice, don't worry about it. So many birds. Okay, wow. Why isn't uh, then no, we hit we'll... next and you should see the score? Yeah, okay. So here we go. Jake, I just, uh, just saw your, your uh, private yeah, chat Becca. reply to that nice. link. I saw. <laughs> so now we hit next to find out the final scores, folks. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I like how this is like a little race here. It's cool. Oh, look at that. Amount on cards. Amount, amount on cards. What? I had Egg an eight pointer in wow, there at the last minute. Oh, no. Oh, Dude. no. Jake, oh, no. Oh, no. Card cards. no. Oh, I love this race. Oh, Play my out. gosh. This could be a whole game in itself. I would. <laughs> Oh, wow. That was cool. I told you we would be close, Ruel. We were three yeah, points apart. We were. And, of course, those end of round that Jake got three of. Yes. Yeah, those helped oh a lot. Gosh. Wow. GG. Good game, Jake. Good game. Good game. Good game. Wow. I thought for sure, Becca, I thought you had it uh, when you had that. You played the most birds in the last round. I thought that was going to push you over the edge. It's worth so I much. I was really flacking on eggs the whole time. Was it the eggs? Okay. Yeah, yeah. it was the eggs. You know, yeah. maybe maybe the woman bee uh, should not be for food. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my gosh. Friends, this has been so much fun. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Ruel. Amy. So glad um, we got to do this. Yeah, this has been great. And I want to thank everyone in chat. Thank you all for hanging out and, you know, just – chilling and watching the whole wingspan thing i love this game because it's so chill but it can be sort of murderous as well as we've seen <laughs> um we make it back up yes right and it's just like any other game we play together um jake and back where can our friends uh find y'all online that is probably close to the same place yeah okay. we're in the same hood Let's start with uh, Becca, please. Sure. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you, Panda Angel, for putting the night bat bot command in there. Um, I'm at the Becca Scott on all the platforms and uh, on Good Time Society, which is the channel, uh, the YouTube channel that Jake and I created together. And we put all kinds of board game tutorials on there and whatnot. Uh, and I stream several days a week on my own channel. And gosh, so many things. So many things. Jake? Yeah, I'll uh, copy that by saying that you can find me streaming on Good Time Society's Twitch, which is in our chat as well. And Becca and I also do a podcast with our good friend Xander Genere. It's called To Boldly Watch, where we watch Star Trek The Next Generation. And we are on our second season right now. We're having a blast. And that can be found wherever you find your podcast. Yeah. And are you streaming awesome. Dominion on Saturday again? I am streaming Dominion on Saturday again with uh, three new friends who have not been on the stream before, as a matter of fact. Oh, nice. snap. Yeah, super excited about that. That'll be at 1 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Cool. So, folks, you know where to find them now. So, please uh, support and check them out. And I just want to say, Becca, Jake, thank you again. It's been a real pleasure. And I always have a great time with both of you. And Same. even though we can't do it in real life now, this is the next best thing. <laughs> someday. Um, someday yeah, soon, someday, I think. Someday yeah. soon. I'm looking forward to losing another game to Jake. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. So again, on behalf of Jake and Becca, thank you, friends. We will see you next time. I'm going to be back uh, tomorrow uh, on Facebook, Facebook Live, 9 a.m. I'm going to unbox a bunch of games. And also tomorrow, if you go to Renegade Stream, folks, I'll be on Renegade Society Radio at 4 p.m. And then Saturday, I'll be back on my Twitch channel, Soloing Games, uh, brought to you by Gameland Games. So 
busy, busy, busy. You Please are busy. Wow. Yeah. I love it. Like I tell Michelle, keeps me out of trouble. So uh, <laughs> there it is. Uh, thank you again, friends. And we will see you next time. Bye, everybody.